Chapter 1461 Injecting Ancestral Item Spirits Translator Born to be she is an Empyrean Answered Chu Yao Of the people here, only Chu Yao was an Empyrean Long Chen, Tang Wanur, and Meng Qi were still a bit confused as to what an Empyrean was Chu Yao explained Do you still remember Favored from the Eastern Wasteland? Favored, Celestials, and Empyreans are all the same concept they are all born from the heavenly deos. When Peng Wancheng likened favored, celestials, and empyreans to commoners, officials, and crown princes, he was generally correct. They are all born from the heavenly deos, but the degree in which the heavenly deos favor them differs greatly. So putting it simply, it's a case of each level suppressing the last, asked Tang Wanur. Yes, that's about it. The suppression of the heavenly deos is even greater than the suppression between cultivation realms. That's why life star experts can easily kill soul transformation experts when they're at equivalent celestials ranks. But a rank 5 life star celestial is only a match for a rank 7 soul transformation celestial. For example, if two children are fighting, if one is a true son while the other is adopted, the father will naturally treat their own son a bit better. But when it comes to the difference between Empyreans and Celestials, it's like one is the father's son, while the other is someone else's son. The heavenly deos won't even care about the other person's death, said Chu Yao. I heard Len Yuian say that someone who hasn't awakened their manifestation isn't even an Empyrean. What does that mean? asked Tang Wanur, referring to what Len Yuian had said to Sha Guangyan. She is correct. Right now, we aren't true Empyreans. We are more accurately sprouts that can become Empyreans. The mass of primal chaos behind us when we fight is a primitive manifestation. All our manifestations are like that right now. That primal chaos manifestation is at most able to allow us to use a portion of the heavenly deos energy. We can't control the energy of the whole world. True Empyreans who have awakened their manifestations are in control of heaven and earth. Just like Pen Wancheng said. They are the crown prince of the world, and everyone else has to kneel before them. In front of Empyreans, all celestials have to kneel and accept their fate, said Chu Yao. They're that powerful. Even Long Chen was shocked. The Empyreans he had fought weren't even true Empyreans yet? Just how terrifying would they be once they had awakened their manifestations? Yes, they're that powerful. However, awakening your manifestation is not easy. Each manifestation has its own name, and only one such manifestation can exist at any time. In other words, each Empyrean with an awakened manifestation is unique. So Len Yuian is right that Sha Guangyan was trying to make himself look better by calling himself an Empyrean. An Empyrean who hasn't awakened their manifestation is not a true Empyrean, said Chu Yao. Then can you awaken your manifestation? What do you need to do to awaken it? Asked Tang Wanur. Chu Ya shook her head. Awakening one's manifestation is not simply a matter of effort. It's up to the will of the heavens. The will of the heavens? That was what Long Chen hated the most. If things had gone according to the will of the heavens, he'd have long since died. Shaking his head, he asked, Have the others woken up? Everyone else is awake. You sat here for ten days, and no one wanted to disturb you. But after so much time, we decided to come over, said Meng Chi. I've made you worry. Let's go over to them. Long Chen rose and stretched his waist, slapping himself in the face a couple of times. After talking for a bit, he felt much more refreshed. The losses of the Dragonblood Warriors had been a heavy blow to him. But after the pain, you had to wipe away your tears and continue forward. Those fallen brothers were still watching. So Long Chen had to act in a way befitting their deaths and led everyone onward. The entire Dragonblood Legion was gathered, and after resting, they had fully recovered. Most importantly, their mental states were much better now. Boss, they all looked at Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. Remember, we don't have time to feel sad, and we don't need to feel sad. Our lives are the continuation of our brothers' lives. Not only can we not be sad, but we have to live even happier than before, not just for ourselves, but for them. If the positions were reversed and we were the ones to die, we'd also want the same. So starting today, forget that useless pain and sorrow. Everyone, work hard on cultivation, 
because the first thing we'll need to do is get revenge. Long Chen's voice was icy and filled with killing intent. Whoever made him feel pain would have to pay a heavy price. Revenge. 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 Novaloon.com CM The Dragonblood Warriors roared out furiously. This blood debt would have to be paid. Boss, let's completely annihilate the corrupt path. Ancient races, and ancient family alliance, said Guo Ran high-spiritedly. Are your big words useful? When will you change this habit? With our current power, we aren't able to destroy any of them. Do you even believe your own words? Demanded Long Chen. Cough. Boss, I was speaking for you. With your power, you'll definitely be capable of it, said Guo Ran. Don't bring up such useless things, and sucking up to me doesn't have the slightest use. If I really was unrivaled, then so many of my brothers wouldn't have died with the ringleaders escaping Long Chen shook his head. Boss, it's not your fault. Those people are all peak heavenly geniuses. Ever since they were born no, even before they were born, they were raised with various resources. But you had to win everything you have with your fists. And if that undying willow hadn't appeared at that time, you would have killed Pen Wanshang. So you're still unrivaled quibbled Guo Ran. Guo Ran was speaking from the heart. Geniuses were created from 3% talent, 7% luck, and 90% piles and piles of resources. In the eastern wasteland, Long Chen's talent was low, and his luck wasn't even worth mentioning. It should be called bad luck instead. As for resources, he didn't have a huge background, so all his resources were accumulated bit by bit. Not only did he have to find them for his own cultivation, but he even had to raise a huge force like the Dragonblood Legion with them. So there was no way to compare Long Chen's accomplishments with those geniuses who were fated to become geniuses even before they were born. One relied on everything their family bestowed them, while the other gathered what he needed bit by bit with his own power. They were as different as heaven and earth. This was the aspect that the Dragonblood warriors most admired and worshipped Long Chen for, aside from his heaven-shaking power. In their hearts, Long Chen was the only true expert. Stop sucking up. Let's get to business. Thanks to the Life God Tree, your mental realms have far surpassed your cultivation basis. You can raise your cultivation basis without worry now. So your current goal is to reach the peak of the Jade Core Realm. You won't run into any bottlenecks or cause your foundation to grow unstable no matter how fast you go. So I want you to turn yourself into medicine jars now. Go all out to increase your cultivation base. Go into seclusion, and come out only when you've reached the peak of Jade Core, said Long Chen. Yes, everyone nodded. Guo Ran, take back everyone's weapons and armor. I'll inject item spirits into them. All of you will have a pair of true ancestral items soon said Long Chen. Really everyone was delighted. Giving their weapons spirits would increase their power by over ten times. At that time, the Dragonblood Legion would truly be unrivaled. Guo Ran, your personal armor is made of multiple parts that I'll add individual item spirits to. At that time, you'll be in possession of dozens of ancestral items. However, you'll need to work hard and quickly raise your cultivation base. Otherwise, if you simply had multiple ancestral items but not enough spiritual strength to nourish them, what would you do? Long Chen stared at Guo Ran intently. He was worried about this fellow secretly being lazy. Boss, don't worry, that definitely won't happen. For my complete ancestral item armor, I'll consume medicinal pills like crazy. Even if I can't eat them, I'll stuff them down somehow. Guo Ran was smiling excitedly. If each part of his armor was its own ancestral item, just who could block him? His eyes were shining brightly. He had an urge to go into seclusion right at this moment. After saying a few more words, Long Chen took out the mountains of medicinal pills that Huo Long had refined during this time. These medicinal pills were perfect for increasing Jade Core cultivation basis. They were all top grade pills. These were refined by one of Huo Long's split bodies and the Blazing Dragon Cauldron working together. The Blazing Dragon Cauldron wasn't a fighting ancestral item so its power was limited. However, its alchemy abilities were amazing. Each person was given 10,000 top grade pills. Long Chen's estimate was that this would bring them to the peak of the Jade Core Realm. Even if it wasn't enough, it wouldn't be that far off. The majority of the Dragonblood Legion was at the Mid-Jade Core Realm. 
with a small portion at the late realm. These pills would naturally be enough. While they were in seclusion, Long Chen would have Huo Long refine a few more. In any case, any leftovers could be sold to the Huaian sect for more resources. Everyone went into seclusion. Two days later, Men Chi came over. Her matter finished. The millions of souls she had gathered had devoured each other until only the 15,000 strongest souls remained. These souls were extremely powerful, but Men Chi had already erased their minds. They were mindless soul essence essentially, which made it easy for Long Chen to use them to create item spirits. With his experience in creating an item spirit for the heaven flipping seal, Long Chen didn't have to do them one by one. Instead, he added souls to over a hundred of them at once. When those souls were injected into the weapons and armor, the dull and lifeless pieces of metal suddenly began to shine brightly, their runes lighting up like they had come to life. This signified that the process had gone off properly. The light slowly dimmed, but now all those items had a slight air of life to them. The newly born item spirits were in slumber now and required someone to nourish them with their souls. When they woke, the person who nourished them would become their first generation master. All ancestral items were very loyal to their first generation master. Long Chen worked for five days before completing all the ancestral items. He finally sighed in relaxation and fell asleep. Chapter 1462 Preparing for another battle translator Born to be the technique that Long Chen used to inject item spirits came from his pill sovereign memories, and it was normally used to impart spirituality to medicinal pills. Not only did it require great spiritual strength, but it also required the slightest bit of pill flame to help with the process. Otherwise, this work could easily be left to a spiritual expert like Meng Qi. Regretfully, Meng Qi was not an alchemist, so Long Chen could only do it himself. After five days, Long Chen's head felt like it was splitting. Thus, when he fell asleep, it was a deep slumber. When he awoke, he realized he was sleeping on a soft bed, and the sunlight shining down on his face was very warm. The sound of babbling water could be heard, along with some tinkling laughter. He slowly rose and put on his shoes. He realized he was wearing a fresh set of robes that emitted a very familiar scent. When he carefully examined it, he could distinguish three different people's scents. Ah, they couldn't have held me while sleeping the whole night, right? Fuck. I slept like a log while accompanied by three beauties? I didn't even get a single touch. It's, it's, worse than a beast. Long Chen was full of regret. Getting up, he walked out of a tent and saw a small pool with a tiny waterfall slowly pouring into it. The pool was surrounded by a dense forest. The trees had formed a wooden wall that others couldn't see through. It was clear that such an orderly arrangement had to be Chu Yao's handiwork. Could it be? Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. He crept forward, completely suppressing his aura. Stealthily creeping up a tree, he saw three beautiful women playing in the water. Their fair skin was dotted in droplets of water. Most heart-stopping was that they weren't wearing any clothes. Their perfect curves were completely revealed to Long Chen with only the crystalline drops of water to obscure his view. In all his years, Long Chen had never seen such an alluring sight. Drip. Suddenly. Something dripped onto a green leaf. Long Chen's expression immediately changed, and his heart dropped. That leaf belonged to one of the trees Chu Yao had created. Ah, someone's peeping. Chu Yao let out a sharp cry. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er also let out startled cries and dived into the water. Boom. The water exploded, and Long Chen was blinded. When his vision cleared, Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er were all right in front of him. Regretfully. They were already wearing clothes. It's not peeping. We're all one family. And as your husband, I have to get used to helping you bathe. Change clothes. Massage your backs. It's nothing bad. I held a pure heart when I came to appreciate. Yes, appreciate. Not peep. In front of Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er's death stares, Long Chen couldn't possibly admit to peeping. First, he gave himself a noble reason for his actions. Wipe away your nosebleed before speaking, said Tang Wan Er disdainfully. Ah, only now did Long Chen realize that his nose felt odd. A hot liquid was pouring out, and he reached out to wipe it with his hand. Now he was doomed. He had actually gotten a nosebleed without realizing it. 
In order to fully mask his presence just now, he had observed them like a mortal, and as a result, he ended up reacting like a mortal. A pure heart for appreciation. Yes, appreciation, not peeping. Chu Yao's lips curled into a smile when she repeated Long Chen's sanctimonious words. Long Chen had an urge to find a hole to bury himself in. This was too embarrassing. Even with his thick face, he felt a burning sensation. Are you planning on staying up in a tree your whole life? Come down. In the end, it was Men Chi who treated him the best. She gave him a way out of this embarrassing situation. Once Long Chen jumped off the tree, Men Chi even handed him a handkerchief to wipe away his blood. Long Chen was so moved that he wanted to cry. Men Chi was truly the best. I really didn't see too much. Your clothes you put them on too quickly. Long Chen looked over the three of them. Their clothes had been soaked in some droplets of water, which revealed their curves. However, those crucial areas were blocked off now. Scoundrel, don't speak. Men Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er blushed. But at least Long Chen had returned to normal. They didn't have to worry about that at least. Ah, have the ancestral items been distributed? Everyone can increase their cultivation base while nourishing their ancestral items with their souls. They shouldn't interfere with each other. Long Chen changed the subject. We handed them out yesterday. All of them are excited. Especially Guo Ran. He kissed his armor over and over again. It was embarrassing to see, said Tang Wan Er somewhat speechlessly. Long Chen smiled. He knew Guo Ran viewed his personal armor like his own child. His excitement was only natural, but he would quickly feel the pain. Long Chen, we're also going into seclusion. But what about you? Asked Meng Chi. They also had to increase their cultivation basis. Each level they advanced would increase their power which would be what protected their lives. The reason they had waited until now was because they had been too worried for Long Chen. They were worried about a problem occurring in his heart. But now, they felt like Long Chen had walked out from that shadow. So they were preparing to enter seclusion as well. I don't need to go into seclusion. I still have many things to handle. My cultivation is different from yours. So don't worry about me, said Long Chen. Only then did Meng Chi. Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er leave. They returned to the Life God Tree. Since the Life God Tree provided them with the best possible cultivation environment, their cultivation bases would advance rapidly. TCH, are those garbage weapons and armor useful? If you worked with me and undid the Sovereign Seal, I'd help you annihilate all your enemies. You're just like a turtle hiding in its shell. How long are you planning on hiding here? Are you even a man? Once the three of them left, Evil Moon's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. The garbage weapons and armor it was referring to were actually the ancestral items that Guo Ran had forged. Aren't you also trash? If you aren't, how come you weren't even able to kill a tree? When will you fix your habit of only knowing how to brag? Sneered Long Chen. Bullshit. The reason you couldn't kill that willow is because you're trash. With your little bit of spiritual yuan, what do you think you could accomplish? You want to be able to use my power with such a pitiful amount? Keep dreaming. And don't think I'll lend you the slightest bit of my own power. Sneered back Evil Moon. If you really were useful, your body should have enough power to break a single willow. But in reality, other than being stupidly heavy, you're not the slightest bit useful. Try not to natter so much in the future. Snorted Long Chen. HMPH. I won't argue with a brat. In any case. If you refuse to help me undo the Sovereign Seal, don't even think about me lending you the slightest bit of energy. And don't threaten me. I'd rather die than submit to a weakling, said Evil Moon. What is a weakling? People like you. People who hesitate and spend all day planning cautiously for no reason. If you have anger in your heart, if you have killing intent, then release it. Kill all the people you hate and want to kill, said Evil Moon. When it spoke. Long Chen clearly sensed its killing intent spreading toward him. After a moment of silence, Long Chen nodded. Perhaps you're right. He didn't refute it, nor did he insult it. That caught Evil Moon off guard. It didn't know what to say. If they're enemies, they should be killed with my full power. I shouldn't give them any chance to harm me. I shouldn't passively wait until they come to kill me. Perhaps that's the right path, sighed Long Chen. So even you know how to talk like a human. 
I'm amazed, said Avil Moon. You're a brood. Can you even understand human words? Demanded Long Chen coldly. Who are you calling a brood? Your dark evil dragon race is a branch and the descendants of the true dragon race. The true dragon is a grand and noble existence. How did they end up with such useless descendants? Sneered Long Chen. What do you think you're doing? In the primal chaos space, Dragonbone Evil Moon began to quiver violently, waves of killing intent exploding out of it. Your little bit of killing intent can only frighten children. In my dragon blood legion, everyone is a hot-blooded man, and you aren't capable of frightening any one of them. Did you see anyone in the dragon blood legion afraid of dying? The reason I look down on you is that despite having the blood of the true dragon race, you are still relying on slaughtering the weak for your vanity and self-esteem. Don't you feel that you're garbage? I dare to challenge a sovereign. You dare to call me someone who slaughters the weak? Roared Evil Moon. TCH. The only reason you dared to challenge a sovereign was because your ego was inflated from killing so many weaklings. Dragonbone Evil Moon. Let me ask you this. If you had another chance to challenge a sovereign, would you do it? Demanded Long Chen. Comma so. You don't have the qualifications to look down on me. From the moment I stepped into the cultivation world, my enemies were always formidable heavenly geniuses. I advanced on my path by walking over their corpses. My path is different from yours. Although I'm from the human race, I've refined true dragon essence blood. So I understand the pride and essence of the true dragon race better than you. I don't need to make transactions with you, nor do I need to submit to you. That's because you aren't worthy. Even if I were to die on the battlefield, I wouldn't ask for your help. So in the future, put away your arrogance and scheming. To tell the truth, I really don't know why Sovereign Yun Shang left you to me. If it weren't for him, I'd have a hundred different ways of playing you to death. You should be thanking him for the fact that you're able to keep living peacefully. If you think I'm just bragging, then you can come try me. Let's see whether my methods are more vicious than the hardness of your bones. Long Chen smiled sinisterly as he looked at Dragonbone Evil Moon in the primal chaos space. Being stared at like this, Evil Moon involuntarily shivered. In the end, it didn't reply. In that instant, a terrifying divine might appeared in the primal chaos space, making it so it didn't dare to do anything. Long Chen ignored it. After parting with Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er, he went to find the Spirit Emperor. Spirit Emperor, gather your people. We go to attack the Dark Forest and pull them up by their roots. Chapter 1463 Unrivaled Black Soil Translator Born to be Long Chen R. Are you serious? We're still in the process of recovering the Spirit Emperor was shocked that Long Chen wanted to attack the Dark Forest. I know, but this is the best time to attack the Dark Forest. We can't miss it. We're going to pull them up by their roots and completely annihilate them, said Long Chen. But they're so powerful. The Forest of Life spirit race warriors and spirit beasts had taken heavy losses. Only 30% of them remained. Even though the spirit emperor wasn't very intelligent, she was clear that they couldn't launch an attack. We don't need power. I just need some helpers and some wind attribute magical beasts. Long Chen smiled. You're saying, you'll use. The spirit emperor instantly understood. Yes, I have as much black soil as I want. I can completely poison the dark forest to death. However, if the master of the dark forest takes action, I'll probably need your help. The only thing Long Chen was worried about was the master of the dark forest. Don't worry, the dark master is like the life god tree and has no fighting power by itself. It can only use its energy to support the other tree demons. But what's different is that the life god tree views each of the spirit race warriors it birthed as its child and their souls are connected to the life god tree. While the dark forest's tree demons are viewed as nothing more than tools by the dark master, it doesn't feel the slightest emotion when they die, said the spirit emperor. Then that's good. Arrange some helpers. I'm going to completely remove this scourge called the dark forest. Hearing that, Long Chen felt much more relaxed. If you spread the black soil that widely, there will be no more life in the spirit world. Once the dark forest is destroyed, everything will be a land of death. There's no need for you to worry about that. After I send out the black soil, I have a way of pulling it back. 
The spirit world will still be the same spirit world, promised Long Chen. The black soil of the primal chaos space had a definite connection to his soul. As long as he wasn't too far, he could summon it back at will. The most marvelous thing was that the black soil in the primal chaos space always maintained a set amount. Whether he shot it out or pulled it back, the amount in the actual primal chaos space wouldn't change. It was extremely strange. The magical beast corpses, once their essence blood and crystal cores were extracted by Guoran, had all been tossed into the black soil. The world trees had grown explosively to 6,000 meters. They were flourishing and emitted boundless life energy. This was a powerful trump card to Long Chen. Last time when fighting against the Undying Willow, he had been constantly injured. He had relied entirely on the World Tree's bountiful life energy to maintain his peak combat power. Otherwise, he'd have long since been defeated. Hearing that Long Chen could pull back the black soil, the Spirit Emperor's worries vanished. She began to gather people. Long Chen didn't ask for many people. He picked out 10,000 spirit generals and hundreds of wind attribute spirit beasts. These spirit beasts were a mix. Some were large. Some were small. The strongest had reached the 11th rank, while the weakest was only at the 7th rank. However, he didn't want them to fight. He was merely borrowing their wind energy. Just like that, Long Chen led this group of spirit race warriors and spirit beasts back toward the battlefield. When they flew over it, the desolation was striking. The blood had dried, but its pungent smell still hung in the air. There were some nameless magical beasts fighting against each other for the broken fragments of other magical beast corpses. The spirit race warriors shot them down without Long Chen having to say anything. Long Chen formed a hand seal, and the endless black soil on the ground rose and rapidly vanished. The black soil was all tossed into the primal chaos space. When it fell where the circle of black soil was in the primal chaos space, it silently merged with it and vanished. Long Chen continued forward, summoning back all the black soil from back then. Once the dark forest was destroyed, this battlefield would vanish. Then the life god tree could populate this entire world. This place would become a paradise without any fighting. The black soil on the ground quickly vanished. Long Chen led his group straight toward the dark forest. A pitch black forest quickly appeared ahead. Long Chen flew into the air, and black soil fell down from him. The spirit race warriors formed a line behind him, their bows in their hands. They were focused entirely on protecting him. As the black soil fell, all the spirit beasts unleashed wind attribute attacks that sent the black soil flying. Wind blades, wind pillars, hurricanes, all kinds of attacks shot out, bringing the black soil shooting into the distance. The black soil was like a powerful current sweeping through the dark forest. The peaceful dark forest was instantly thrown into chaos. Countless startled cries rang out. Any trees touched by the black soil withered and turned to dust. Some of them tried to run, but it was useless. Once they were touched, they wouldn't last long before dying. The black current rapidly spread thanks to the efforts of the magical beasts. The dark forest was quickly vanishing. Some of the Dark Forest's magical beasts appeared, but before they could attack, they were killed by the spirit race warriors. These magical beasts were only at the 8th rank. They were no different than rabbits when compared to the spirit generals. Forest of life, don't go too far. Very quickly, a furious roar came from the depths of the Dark Forest. A huge tree image appeared in the sky. It was the Dark Master. It didn't come with its true body instead sending only a projection. But that terrifying pressure could make a person's soul explode. It was a terrifying existence. But Long Chen ignored it. He continued unleashing the black soil. You'd best stop right there. Otherwise, the dark forest will fight to the death and bring you down with us, roared the dark master. What did you say? Long Chen tilted his head, acting like he hadn't heard. I said that you'd best stop right there. The dark forest will fight to the death and bring you down with us. The dark master obediently repeated what it had just said. What did you say? I said, you'd best stop right there. Otherwise, the dark forest will fight to the death and bring you down with us. Do you understand? Oh, I understand. Then why haven't you stopped? The black soil was still spreading rapidly. All the tree demons were fleeing into the distance. But some of the younger ones couldn't transform and couldn't move. 
they could only wait for their death. Why would I have to stop? Asked Long Chen. You want to die with us? No. Then hurry up and stop. Why would I? Long Chen continued to act stupid, infuriating the Dark Master. But it truly was wooden-brained. It was still discussing whether or not it should fight to the death. Long Chen wanted to see how long the Dark Master would continue discussing this matter with him. As a result, for two hours, the Dark Master had used the threat of bringing Long Chen down with him the entire time. Long Chen had no choice but to admit defeat and stop talking. The power of a wooden brain was truly great. Life Master, what do you think you're doing? Do you really want to get the entire spirit world destroyed? The Dark Master was shocked and infuriated to see that the black soil was still spreading rapidly. Without any other solution, the Dark Master directly threatened the Life Master. Oh, not bad. You've finally added something new to your repertoire. Appraised Long Chen indifferently. Finally, the Dark Master had used a new threat. The Life Master was the Life God Tree. But the Life God Tree didn't speak on its own. The Spirit Emperor was its representative. Yet, the Spirit Emperor also ignored the Dark Master. Long Chen began to push forward as he unleashed the Black Soil. Through the Dark Master's actions, Long Chen could tell that the Dark Master was powerless to do anything against his attacks. That was why it was trying to scare him into stopping. To Long Chen who often had to deal with sinister scheming fellows, the Dark Master's thoughts were easy to read. Bastard, then we'll just bring you down with us. On the verge of despair, the Dark Master suddenly let out a furious roar. Its figure vanished. Roaring came from the depths of the Dark Forest. Countless magical beasts began rushing out. So it really did have a trump card. Long Chen was startled. The sea of beasts appeared once more. At the front were thousands of 11th rank magical beasts. That truly gave Long Chen a start. Just as he thought the dark forest was really using up everything it had to bring him down with them. Long Chen became speechless. Other than the thousands of 11th rank magical beasts at the front. The rest were all weak. Some were even still at the Xi'anchen level. This was just a bluff. The spirit race warriors prepared to attack. They were only 10,000 people, so this would be a fierce battle. But before they could attack, Long Chen raised a hand high into the air. A huge flame sphere rapidly grew. Sacred chanting began to fill the air. In the battle last time, Long Chen had wanted to use Starfall to destroy the Undying Willow. But the Undying Willow's attacks came too quickly for him to have a chance to unleash it. When it came to destructive power, Starfall was even more terrifying than Split the Heavens, but the casting time was too long. Under the Undying Willow's concentrated attacks, there had been no way to unleash it. Boom. The huge flame sphere in Long Chen's hands finally shot out and exploded amongst the Sea of Beasts. Chapter 1464 Tenth of Vestige of Jade Core Translator Born to be the huge flame sphere exploded like a star. A wave of golden flames devoured the army of magical beasts. Magical beasts below the 11th rank were instantly killed and turned to ash. Only 11th rank magical beasts with great defense were able to survive. But after struggling for a moment in the sea of flames, they also burned to a crisp. This was the terror of Starfall. Even though it was a huge area attack, that didn't diminish its destructive power. All the magical beasts were killed in one blow. All the spirit race warriors stared in shock at the sea of flames. This attack was too terrifying. The flame energy roaring throughout the world suddenly vanished. The air still twisted from the heat, making it seem like they were in the water. Their vision was turbid. Life master, and you human race bastard. Just wait. We'll regroup and come back even stronger. The furious roar of the dark master rang out from the distance. The void began to twist crazily, forming a huge portal. Countless tree demons rushed into it like a flood. They actually fled. Although Long Chen had expected that the dark forest would flee, he hadn't expected them to run so quickly. After all, now that they had left the spirit world, it would be difficult for them to come back in. Leaving might be easy, but coming back in was difficult. The world's natural protective barriers would prevent them from forming a new channel. Opening it would definitely not be a simple matter of using some brute force like they were doing now. The stronger tree demons quickly vanished. As for the weaker tree demons, they were abandoned and died to the black soil. To be safe, 
Long Chen spent three days searching for any traces of the Dark Forest's life forms. He mobilized all the warriors of the Forest of Life, having them go over every inch of the spirit world. They pulled up quite a few hidden roots. They were all excavated and destroyed. After three days, the spirit world was completely cleaned up. Only then did Long Chen pull back all his black soil. Once he had done that, he saw the spirit emperor floating in the air, singing. She seemed to be performing some kind of ceremony. All the life forms of the Forest of Life were also participating in this ceremony. They seemed to be devoutly worshipping something yet also seemed to be in the midst of spreading a kind of blessing. That blessing was a kind of hope. When their ceremony concluded, countless life forms of the Forest of Life flew out. Wherever they passed, the ground began to thrive with vitality once more. New vegetation sprouted out all over. There was no more barren land. They are sowing the seeds of life. Wherever they go, they spread the blessings of the life god tree. In just a few centuries, all of this will be a thriving forest once more. Long Chen, I really don't know how to thank you. The spirit world that was on the verge of death has now begun to thrive once more. You are the savior of the entire spirit world. Thank the spirit emperor. Saying words that are too courteous between us would make us feel like strangers. Long Chen smiled. He could understand the spirit emperor's emotions. The feeling of returning to one's home after driving off invaders was definitely indescribable. The dark forest had retreated, and all the spatial channels into this world were closed. The spirit world finally won some precious breathing room. There was no longer any danger to their safety for now. If the outside world tried to establish new spatial channels here, it would cause violent fluctuations. The forest of life would only have to defend those points and ruin any of their attempts of forming a channel. It would be difficult for their opponents to succeed. Long Chen, the Martial Heaven continent is filled with countless dangers. Why don't you stay behind in the spirit world? The spirit emperor once more offered him this invitation. Long Chen shook his head, tactfully declining. The spirit emperor might be the leader of the spirit world, but her way of thinking was different from the human races. The word hatred didn't exist in their minds. Whether it was the human race's betrayal or the dark forest's invasion, they simply passively defended. They didn't once think about revenge. Perhaps Long Chen envied them a bit. Perhaps not keeping hatred and resentment in their hearts was what allowed them to live so freely and without pain. However, he couldn't do the same. He had always followed the principle of blood for blood, an eye for an eye. He didn't like owing others anything but he definitely wouldn't let his opponents owe him anything. Since they owed him, he would be getting back their debts. Since they gave him pain, he would make them know what pain was. Although he wasn't petty with his vengeance, he was never merciful to his enemies, no matter who they were. After resolving the dark forest quickly, Long Chen also went into seclusion, but the place he went into seclusion was a remote valley. Boom. The ground around him crumbled and dust rose. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood, shocked, as expected of Pill Valley's private treasures, top grade 10th tier medicinal pills that have been nourished for who knows how many years truly have terrifying medicinal energy. Right now, Long Chen's cultivation base was too low. He was at the bottom of the entire Dragon Blood Legion, so he had to quicken his cultivation speed. However, his stomach had a limit and he not only had to eat medicinal pills that increased his cultivation base, but he also had to eat pills to condense the Divine Gate Star. Thus, he was raising his cultivation base and condensing the Divine Gate Star at the same time. Both were both very important to Long Chen. In the end, Long Chen decided to focus on raising his cultivation base right now, and to do so, he took out the precious medicinal pills he had stolen from Pill Valley. He had just swallowed a top grade 10th tier giant pill. A normal 10th tier pill was for soul transformation experts. But Long Chen was using a top grade 10th tier giant pill that had been nourished for thousands of years. The medicinal effect had completely transformed from its original state. The medicinal pill had spirituality, and it could transform to unleash battle prowess equivalent to ordinary life star experts. Even for powerful life star experts. Devouring this giant pill would spell instant death. Right now, endless energy was raging in Long Chen's body. 
It was like a rampaging bull trying to break his body. Long Chen also hadn't expected a single pill to possess such violent power. He was injured just after swallowing it. It seems I underestimated Pill Valley's formations Long Chen circulated his spiritual yuan to cancel out the impact of the medicinal pill as he observed it. This pill had been nourished by Pill Valley's formations for a much longer time than he had estimated. He almost ended up screwing himself over. Explosive sounds continued to ring out in Long Chen's body, but now that he was prepared, his spiritual yuan was defending. No matter how the energy rampaged in his body, it was no longer able to injure him. However, a giant pill's power was violent. It refused to submit. Long Chen had to suppress it continuously for an hour before finally being able to absorb its energy. This pill was used to raise the cultivation base of soul transformation experts. But Long Chen had forcibly absorbed its energy in the Jade Core realm. Due to the difference between the two realms, 70% of the medicinal energy was wasted. And yet, the 30% remaining energy allowed him to advance directly. Long Chen had advanced from one pill. It had to be known that even after eating pills like his life had depended on it, he had only managed to break through to the fourth heaven stage recently. This one pill had brought him all the way to the fifth heaven stage, delighting Long Chen. This medicinal pill was amazing. Although he felt that continuing to eat top grade tenth tier giant pills was a waste of such treasures, he had no choice. Raising his power was of the utmost importance, especially at this time. Once the first pill was fully absorbed, Long Chen took out another and popped it into his mouth. In the blink of an eye, a month passed. Long Chen had consumed over 80 giant pills, raising his cultivation base to the 10th heaven stage of Jade Core. As his cultivation base increased, his four seas and 108,000 stars underwent huge changes. The amount of spiritual yuan within them was several times greater than before. The change when he advanced to the 10th heaven stage was exceptionally great. Holding Evil Moon, Long Chen let out a single slash. A great spatial pressure caused the void to explode. My power has at least doubled. I can finally use it with one hand. Noveloon.com in one month. He had gone from the 4th heaven stage to the 10th heaven stage. This was his fastest advancement in all of history. After continuous advancements. His power had risen to the point where he no longer needed to use Evil Moon with both hands. The only regretful thing was that the remaining giant pills were not used for cultivation. Otherwise, he might be able to reach the 12th heaven stage in one go. On the other hand, having advanced so much, he needed some time to stabilize his realm and get used to his new power. Despite his power increasing, Long Chen felt that Dragonbone Evil Moon was too conspicuous. Its evil aura was too strong. Otherwise, if he fiercely swung it and then placed it on his back, it would definitely be flashy. Ever since he had warned Evil Moon, it had stopped trying to entice him. However, Long Chen always kept it in the primal chaos space. He didn't place it in his spiritual space like the Black Pot, Blazing Dragon Cauldron, and Heaven Flipping Seal. In his spiritual space, he could nourish them with his soul. This blade was too evil. If he placed it in his spiritual space, the slightest carelessness would cause it to infect him with its evil aura. Long Chen looked at the heaven-flipping seal that was still in slumber. However, it was no longer a dead brick as some faint runes were shining on it now. It was undergoing a kind of rebirth. Thanks to the nourishment of his soul, Long Chen could clearly sense that the heaven-flipping seal's item spirit was growing stronger with each passing day. He also knew it had formed a kind of dependence on his soul. Although its item spirit had been created with the Aldevil monster soul, Pill Valley's master had already wiped away its consciousness. When Long Chen injected its soul essence into the heaven flipping seal, it was like a newborn baby, and its soul was pure. There was no evil element to it. Once it awoke, it would be completely loyal to Long Chen, and he would have obtained another powerful weapon. As for the pot, it had been injured when it broke Pen Wancheng's ancestral item spear. However, it had completely recovered. Its self-repair ability was shocking. Putting away Evil Moon, Long Chen tidied himself up and returned to the Forest of Life. When he arrived in front of the Life God Tree, he saw that everyone was still in seclusion. Only Chu Yao had gone out a few days ago to one of the floating islands. 
Long Chen didn't disturb the others, and he went over to Chu Yao's floating island. This was the floating island they had rested on before. From a distance, he could already see a barrier of trees around Chu Yao. He found this very curious. Why would Chu Yao leave seclusion alone? But it just so happened he had a few things he wanted to talk with her about. He had only just approached this wooden barrier when a root beneath his feet suddenly snaked out and wrapped around his foot. Startled, Long Chen pulled, wanting to break the root. But he was shocked that the root didn't break. Instead, it tugged on him, causing him to fall. At the same time, countless willow branches appeared in the air. Their sharpness cleanly cut through the void. An intense feeling of death enveloped Long Chen. Chapter 1465 Protector Contract Translator Born to be its the undying willow, Long Chen was shocked. A bad feeling rose in his heart. Chu Yao hadn't refined the undying willow? Could it be that the undying willow had harmed her? Seeing the endless willow branches attacking him, Long Chen let out a powerful punch, and his lightning and flame energy exploded. The branches were blown apart. Long Chen broke the root binding his foot and retreated. He also summoned Evil Moon. However, before he could slash Evil Moon out, his wrist tightened. It had been bound by countless branches. What Long Chen suddenly realized he had fallen for a trap. All the Undying Willow's previous attacks had been in preparation for this. It had long since established this trap behind him, and when he had instinctively retreated, he had fallen for it. With his wrist bound, Long Chen couldn't swing Evil Moon. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, surging powerfully, and dragon scales covered his body, giving him endless energy. The branches binding him were crumbling one by one. This was the result of his one month of work. If it had been a month ago, Long Chen wouldn't have been able to escape from this binding. Now that he had unleashed his full power, the branches could no longer pose a fatal threat to him. He had only just destroyed the branches binding him when a slim palm shot into his chest. It was as though a mountain had crashed into him, and he felt like he couldn't breathe. His right hand was holding Evil Moon, so he couldn't use it. He used his left hand to meet the palm. Boom. Long Chen's body trembled and he shot back. His right arm almost broke. Dragonbone Evil Moon had been bound by countless branches and snatched away. A translucent figure appeared in front of Long Chen. It actually grabbed Evil Moon and slashed it at Long Chen. Its speed was shocking. Long Chen clapped his hands together, catching Evil Moon just as it was about to land on him. At the same time, he sent a kick to that figure's abdomen. A banging sound rang out as that figure was kicked away. Long Chen snatched back Evil Moon and swung it through the air, shattering all the nearby branches. He then pointed Evil Moon at the sky. A huge saber image tore into the sky, and boundless killing intent coalesced. That figure formed rapid hand seals, and countless branches assembled, forming a huge whip in the air. It swung through the air with terrifying power. This was a move that the Undying Willow hadn't used before. Split the heavens stop. Just as Long Chen and the Undying Willow were preparing to unleash full power attacks, a startled cry rang out. Chu Yao Long Chen was startled. That voice belonged to Chu Yao. He had thought that she was in danger thanks to the Undying Willow. So he was delighted that she was fine. However, his saber still pointed toward the sky, ready to unleash his attack at any point. He couldn't be the slightest bit careless in front of the Undying Willow. Seeing Long Chen stop his attack, the Undying Willow slowly released its huge whip. The branches slowly descended from the sky. Only then did Long Chen release his energy and rest Evil Moon on his shoulder. Chu Yao appeared in front of Long Chen. Not waiting for Long Chen to say anything, she rebuked the Undying Willow. Ruian, what are you doing? Didn't we already discuss this? You can't randomly kill people. He bullied me. This is simply revenge. I refuse to accept my defeat from last time, said that translucent figure. As it spoke, its figure slowly solidified. It transformed into a tall and slim woman wearing black robes. She had shapely features and long hair, and there was a mark of a black flower on her forehead. Her lips were a bit thin and the corners of her lips turned upward ever so slightly. She looked like an extremely unyielding and opinionated woman. At this moment, her beautiful eyes were cold. She glared at Long Chen without the slightest friendliness. Furthermore, I wasn't trying to kill him. 
I was just getting revenge. Only once I defeat him can I wipe out that disgrace, said that woman. This time, instead of using spiritual fluctuations, she used her actual voice. Her voice was melodious and a bit similar to Chu Yao's voice. However, it lacked Chu Yao's warmth. Didn't I tell you that Long Chen is a good person? We're all one family now, so you can't attack him, scolded Chu Yao. Fine, I'll listen to you. After saying that, the woman transformed into willow leaves and vanished from Long Chen's sight. Chu Yao, what just happened? Demanded Long Chen, perplexed. I'm sorry, I didn't listen to you and didn't refine the undying willow. It's just, she's very pitiful said Chu Yao, a bit nervously. She told him that she originally wanted to act according to his instructions. However, when her soul had entered the undying willow seed to refine it, she found that even in this seed form, the undying willow was extremely tough. It refused to submit and fought back against her. She failed three times to refine the seed. But although she had failed three times, she managed to peer into the things deep in the soul of the undying willow. It was a seed that came from a demon spirit world. It was planted in the dark forest and relied on the life energy of the world trees to grow. In truth, in all its life, it was only viewed as a chess piece. It gradually matured in its spot. However, the undying willow also knew that it was nothing more than a chess piece. Once it matured, it would have to return to the demon spirit world and work. It was full of loneliness. It felt disgust for life, because the fate of its life had already been set in stone without it having a say. According to reason, the undying willow race wouldn't have such a profound intelligence, spirit, or emotion. Perhaps it was because it had been infected by the aura of the forest of life, which led to it feeling more emotions. When Chu Yao had seen its inner heart, she had suddenly thought of her own fate in the Phoenix Cry Empire. Many parts of her fate were quite similar to the undying willows. In the end, Chu Yao hadn't managed to harden her heart and kill it. Due to seeing the hidden emotions in the undying willow's heart, she ended up feeling sympathy for it. In the end, she promised not to harm it and released it so it could return to the demon spirit world. But due to Chu Yao entering its soul, the undying willow also saw through Chu Yao's heart. Chu Yao had come out of seclusion a few days ago to release the undying willow. But unexpectedly, after obtaining its freedom, the Undying Willow activated an ancient contractual agreement and willingly became her protector. This protector contract made it so that their souls were connected. The two of them could share each other's powers and lives. This move from the Undying Willow caught Chu Yao off guard, but she was also extremely moved. With their souls connected, they both knew what the other was thinking. The two of them were like one person. The Undying Willow had become Chu Yao's contractual protector. It rested in Chu Yao's life space but could come out to the real world whenever it wished. Instead of returning to the life god tree and continuing her seclusion as planned, Chu Yao decided to seclude herself on this floating island. After all, the undying willow had been the forest of life's enemy. She didn't want the life god tree to feel bad. With the undying willow as a protector, there was no need to worry about her safety in seclusion. But Chu Yao hadn't expected Long Chen to come looking for her. As a result, he ended up in a fight with the Undying Willow. Long Chen, you don't blame me, right? Chu Yao tensed nervously. She felt that what she had done was almost like letting him down. Foolish girl, why would I blame you? I'm very happy for you. Long Chen smiled. Chu Yao had actually subdued that terrifying Undying Willow. Long Chen was almost dancing with joy. He knew just how terrifying the Undying Willow was. For Chu Yao to have such a terrifying protector, to be able to share its life energy, Chu Yao was now practically in possession of an undying body. Really? I just knew you were the best. Chu Yao hugged Long Chen excitedly, a stone finally falling from her heart. Speaking of which, you called her Ruian? Did you give her a name? Asked Long Chen. Yup, she's from the Undying Willow race and I gave her the name Ruian, so she's Lu Ruian. What do you think? Chu Ya smiled as if she had come up with the name of her own child Noveloon.com Long Chen naturally wouldn't say it was bad. An excellent name, Lu Ruian. Willows like mist, flowers like brocades. It invokes an image of soaking in the sunshine and smelling the flowers of summer. 
but inside, Long Chen thought to himself, Ruian, that smoke is probably toxic, killer smoke, only my master is allowed to say my name, if others randomly say it, I'll get angry, a voice rang out, Lu Ruian appeared like a phantom in the air, clearly, she was very displeased to have her name called by Long Chen, her hostility was clear as she glared at Long Chen, Chu Yao immediately felt awkward, and she cast a meaningful glance at Long Chen. As for Long Chen, what kind of person was he? How could he not understand what Chu Yao meant? All right, I admit that my true combat power is lower than yours. I admit defeat, said Long Chen truthfully. This was the truth. Although their last exchange had been interrupted, Long Chen knew that if it was a month ago, he wouldn't have been able to receive such a terrifying attack. Lu Ruian had many trump cards that she hadn't revealed before she had been sealed by the black soil. For her to be irritated by her defeat was only natural. When Long Chen said this, Lu Ruian's expression improved slightly, and she didn't say anything. Seeing that, Long Chen said, Chu Yao, I'm preparing to leave first and see how the martial heaven continent has changed. If anyone asks, just tell them I've left and to focus on their cultivation. Liu equals willow, Ru equals like similar, Yan equals smoke, mist. This is referred to in the next few lines by Long Chen. Chapter 1466 Returning to the Martial Heaven Continent Translator Born to be on your own? Why don't I go with you? Asked Chu Yao. It's fine. My cultivation base has reached the peak of the Jade Core Realm. I have enough power to protect myself. Long Chen smiled. Having advanced to the 10th Havenstage of Jade Core, Long Chen had enough confidence. Then be careful. Chu Ya reached out and tidied his robes, straightening his collar. Long Chen never cared too much about such details, and so his collar was often askew. Ah, wait. Cloud was sent back to the Martial Heaven Continent by the Spirit Emperor 10 days ago. What? Why? asked Long Chen. Cloud said that it has reached the peak of the 9th rank. In order to advance, it needs to return to its ancestral lands and undergo a baptism. That way, it'll be able to take human form at the 10th rank, said Chu Yao. Cloud was no ordinary magical beast. It was classified amongst the annals of the Xuan beasts. Although it had an innate deficiency, thanks to Menki's care and the help of the Myriad Spirit Diagram, Cloud's spirit blood showed signs of returning to its ancestral state. Its spirit blood had been purified to a peak. The 10th rank was an important level for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It had to return to its ancestral lands and undergo a spirit awakening ceremony. Then it would be able to take human form. By taking a human form, the Xuan beasts were able to get closer to the heavenly deos. That allowed them to progress toward the path to ascension. As for magical beasts that were unable to take human form. They would forever be magical beasts. Only Xuan beasts that were capable of taking human form could ascend. Mere magical beasts, no matter how strong they became, would never step foot onto that path. Long Chen nodded. If Cloud could transform into human form, then with the assistance of the Myriad Spirit Diagram, it would no longer have any setbacks on its cultivation path. Perhaps it could restore the ancient glory of its race. When Long Chen looked at Cloud, he was reminded of Little Snow's image. Right now, Little Snow's crystal core was being nourished by the Myriad Spirit Diagram. According to Meng Chi, Little Snow's soul was strengthening with each passing day as if there was no limit. Even Meng Chi didn't understand this phenomenon. Little Snow's spiritual strength had now surpassed the standard of 11th rank magical beasts. If even Meng Chi couldn't understand it, then there was no way Long Chen could. However, Long Chen thought it was related to the Eastern Wasteland Bell. This mysterious phenomenon might be related to how the Eastern Wasteland Bell had sealed Little Snow's soul. Thinking of the Eastern Wasteland Bell, Long Chen thought to himself how it had been many years, and there wasn't the slightest news of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It was like it had vanished. Ah, that's right. How is everyone doing with nourishing their ancestral items? Asked Long Chen. It's not ideal. In over a month. I think only 200 people have managed to awaken their item spirits. The others still haven't managed to provoke a reaction. Chu Ya shook her head. What? 
they have two ancestral items sharing one item spirit. But even after a month, they were unable to awaken their spirits. Long Chen naturally knew that true ancestral items required their item spirits to be nourished. This process required a large amount of time and effort. That was why when he had given instructions to Guo Ran to forge them, Long Chen had instructed him to make sure that the armor and weapons shared runes, so that they could share one item spirit. That was to save everyone's time. Other than Guo Ran's armor, everyone else's armor and weapon shared one item spirit. But despite that, only a few people had managed to awaken their item spirits. That was too slow. Chu Yao was speechless. Do you think everyone's soul is as powerful as yours? Ancestral items are normally nourished by generations of people. Even for the first generation user, it normally requires half a year to a year to awaken the spirit. For some people to have succeeded in just a month is amazing speed. Long Chen laughed embarrassedly. It was true. The item spirits of ancestral items required a huge amount of spiritual strength to awaken. Just like incubating an egg, it couldn't be rushed. It needed to be done one step at a time. But the day that everyone awakened their item spirits would come sooner or later. For an item spirit to form a resonance with the master was an excellent sign. That meant that the item spirit had already obtained a slight consciousness. After gaining its own mind, the item spirit would need its master to continuously nourish it with their soul. This increased the item spirit's loyalty and favorable impression. It made them feel dependent on their master. That was the only way to guarantee their loyalty. Once both sides had reached a necessary level of trust between them, as the item spirit grew stronger, the master would work together with the item spirit to learn how to activate the item's runes. When the master attacked, the item spirit would assist, multiplying their individual power. From the time that an ancestral item was forged to when it grew to its peak state, Normally hundreds of years would have passed. At the very least, it would require a few decades. For some of the Dragonblood warriors to have reached this point in just a month was shocking. Long Chen had truly been too impatient Novaloon.com no matter what. Having an item spirit with consciousness alone would double the ancestral item's power. That was the difference between having an item spirit and not. As their item spirits grew stronger, the power of the ancestral items would also grow. This was an excellent thing. However, having two ancestral items sharing one item spirit would most definitely not be as strong as two ancestral items with individual item spirits. But there was no way around that. The Dragonblood Legion didn't have that much time or energy to waste. What about Guo Ran? How's he doing? Asked Long Chen. Him? I suppose he's weeping in his room. Chu Yao was caught between laughter and tears. Although she knew she shouldn't laugh. She couldn't help it. In order to increase his power to the max, Guo Ran had begged Long Chen to create item spirits in every part of his armor. As a result, now he had met with tragedy. As a forging master, Guo Ran's spiritual strength was above average. But when he started nourishing his item spirits, he almost crumbled. Others were nourishing one and having difficulty, while he was nourishing dozens. But regret was useless. He had poured too much blood sweat, and tears into his armor already. He had to nourish them. However, thinking of how he had to nourish dozens of them at once, he felt completely powerless. He deserves it. I told him that even if he constantly used medicinal pills, five items spirits would be his limit. But he refused to listen. His expression back then was like he was going to become hostile if I refused to give him more item spirits. Like he wouldn't view me as his boss anymore. Long Chen smiled. Having not listened to his boss, Guo Ran was reaping what he had sowed. Fortunately, Meng Chi has been helping him out a bit, lending him some spiritual strength to nourish them. Furthermore, she also split a bit of the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast's energy with him to quicken the process. Guo Ran was so moved that he swore to create her a powerful soul item to thank her. Thinking of Guo Ran's tears of gratitude from that time and how he had looked like he had seen his savior. Chu Yao's smile widened. TCH. He should be thanking his luck. Who knows how long it would take him otherwise. Long Chen laughed. However, Long Chen had long since known this would happen. With Men Qi's vast spiritual strength, lending Guo Ran a small fraction wouldn't hinder her own cultivation. Hearing all this, Long Chen was relieved. 
he had Chu Yao go back into seclusion by the life god tree. She didn't need to worry about the life god tree's emotions. The undying willow would be a terrifying helper to the dragonblood legion in the future, and this was definitely a good thing. Only then did Chu Yao feel at ease and return back to the life god tree with Long Chen. Long Chen didn't hide his intentions. He directly told the spirit emperor that the undying willow was no longer an enemy, but Chu Yao's contractual protector. The spirit emperor didn't express any shock. She merely smiled and gave Chu Yao her blessing. Long Chen also said that he wanted to go. He gave explicit coordinates of where he wanted to be transported to. A single leaf floated down from the life god tree and landed in his hand. When you return to the martial heaven continent, we will no longer be able to sense you. This leaf is similar to your spirit transmission talismans. If you inject your spiritual strength into it and then crush it, we will be able to receive a message from you, said the spirit emperor. Due to Long Chen's suggestions, the spirit emperor had closed all the channels to the spirit world. The entire world was now isolated, and the outer world wouldn't be able to create new channels for a while. But within the spirit world, the life god tree could freely send Long Chen and the others out, or even create a temporary channel that allowed them to come and go. That kind of channel was not exactly a spatial channel. Even with the life god tree's power, it could only maintain it for a single breath's time. Furthermore, this channel could not accept people above the life star realm. Otherwise, the fluctuations would grow too violent and cause the channel to crumble. Long Chen nodded and put away the leaf. This was his key to returning to the spirit world, so he had to take care of it. Since they had only given Long Chen one leaf, it meant that it was no ordinary item. Otherwise, considering the spirit emperor's generosity, she would have given him a pile of them to use. Through the life god tree, Long Chen saw countless isolated spaces within its crown. All the dragonblood warriors were sitting in a meditative state. Each one of them had a jar full of medicinal pills in front of them. Occasionally, a person would stick their hand into the jar and pull out a medicinal pill to eat. Right now, they were absorbing the energy of medicinal pills while nourishing their item spirits with their souls. Seeing everyone going all out to get stronger, Long Chen didn't hesitate. He gave a look to the spirit emperor. The spirit emperor waved her staff, and the head of her staff began to glow like a star. The light of millions of leaves on the life god tree converged into a huge vortex, and it gradually shrank until it became a three-meter-wide channel. As soon as the channel was stable, Long Chen stepped into it, vanishing from the spirit world. The scenery in front of him changed. The dense air of life and the sun vanished. Long Chen's vision darkened. He had returned to the martial heaven continent, but it was currently night. Looking around, he realized the life god tree's channel was frighteningly accurate. He was just a few thousand miles from the Zhuanchen Dao sect determining his position. Long Chen rushed off to the Zhuanchen Dao sect but when he saw the scenery where the Zhuanchen Dao sect was, killing intent exploded out of him. Chapter 1467 The Shocking Transformation of the Zhuanchen Dao sect Translator Born to be Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. The old mountain gate he had walked through when he had just joined the sect had vanished. The lofty and majestic mountain range was gone. The countless pavilions and buildings were no more. All he could see was a pile of ruins, as well as some leftover violent fluctuations in the air. The entire Zhuanchen Dao sect had been destroyed. The void here was still twisting with the powerful pressure lingering. The auras continued to clash, and the air was filled with the scent of blood. Who did this? Long Chen let out a heaven-shaking roar that contained boundless killing intent. His hair stood on end and his eyes were scarlet. The Zhuanchen Dao sect, an existence with countless years of history, had been destroyed. Long Chen's heart was full of fury and killing intent. This is the aura of divine items. Looking at the raging turbulent auras in the air, Long Chen could tell that the Zhuanchen Dao sect had encountered an attack of unprecedented scale. There's the aura of the reincarnation mirror the Zhuanchen Tower, and the corrupt god skull. There's the aura of other divine items as well. Was this a combined plot to destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect? Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. The fluctuations in the air were unique to divine items. Based on the marks, it should have happened just one or two days ago. I was one step too late. Long Chen's expression sank. 
Seeing the blood on the ground, his fists clenched tightly. One of the three great heavenly sects, the one with the most ancient inheritance, had actually been destroyed. Let me see who did this. Long Chen began to circulate the nine-star hegemon body art, calming himself down to return to the source of these events just like what he had done in the spirit world's ancient battlefield. However, this time, he was unable to see anything. He could only hear some muffled screaming, angry roars, startled cries, and wailing. It was all muddled. He knew this was because he wasn't able to calm himself down. The more he tried to do that, the less calm he became. In the end, he couldn't even hear the voices. How are the Xuan Master and the others? What about Wild? A sharp light began to shine in Long Chen's eyes. He was extremely anxious. It was obvious that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been subject to a sudden attack. They hadn't been able to retaliate at all and had to have taken heavy losses. Suddenly, the sky trembled and countless fluctuations spread, sealing the world. The blood moon devouring sun formation? So it's the corrupt path. The grand formation completely covered the sky. Long Chen didn't panic, nor did he have any intention of running. He just coldly watched as the formation was set up. Hundreds of corrupt experts slowly descended from the sky. One of them was one that Long Chen recognized. He was that dwarf he had encountered on Devil Spirit Mountain. Ha ha ha. I didn't think that after destroying the Zhuanshan Dao sect, even you, Long Chen, would quickly come over. How excellent the dwarf laughed sinisterly, looking down at Long Chen from above. Where is the Xuan Master? demanded Long Chen. Dead. They're all dead. Their muscles were torn out one by one. Their bones were turned to dust. And their souls refined. Ha ha ha. Laughed the dwarf. Then you can die with them. Long Chen roared furiously and jumped into the air. His divine ring as well as the five stars in his eyes appeared. Dragonbone Evil Moon swung out furiously. As soon as Dragonbone Evil Moon appeared, the void trembled. A boundless air of death enveloped everyone. The dwarf was shocked by this. A blood-colored pagoda with nine levels appeared in the air. It looked like it was dripping in blood. It rapidly grew larger. Countless blood-colored skulls flew out from the tower, attacking Long Chen. These skulls were all different. Some were human skulls, and some were magical beast skulls. Some were small, some were large, but they all contained blood marks on them and emitted powerful pressures. This pagoda was a powerful ancestral item of the corrupt path, and countless resentful spirits were locked within it. Skulls from powerful existences had been refined into corrupt weapons and nourished by the tower increasing their power. This was a powerful ancestral item the dwarf had been bestowed after the battle of Devil Spirit Mountain. Speaking of which, this ancestral item was also closely related to Gui Yan. It was because of Gui Yan's usage of the underworld soul ghost curse that this dwarf sect took extremely miserable losses. As a result, the higher up sent him this ancestral item as compensation. Now he was taking it out to handle Long Chen. In the face of the endless skulls, Long Chen simply swung out Devil Moon. A huge saber image struck like a black bolt of lightning. A powerful chi wave blew apart all those skulls. In front of Dragonbone Evil Moon, the skulls of Life Star experts were as weak as tofu. At the same time as those skulls were broken, sharp cries rang out in the air. The souls inside the skulls were killed as well. What the dwarf was shocked. Was Long Chen actually this powerful? He had already arrived right in front of the other corrupt experts. All of these experts were at the Life Star Realm, but they were all stunned by Long Chen's terrifying power. They all launched attacks on him. The dwarf in particular sent the blood-colored pagoda crashing toward Long Chen. It was 3,000 meters tall now, and it rumbled through the air. Die. Long Chen's furious roar was like exploding thunder. Wielding Evil Moon with both hands, he slashed it right on the pagoda. Boom. Terrifying energy erupted and the powerful tower instantly exploded. As it did, countless crushed skulls flew out like exploding shooting stars in every direction. The exploding skulls weren't something the corrupt experts could handle. Many of them were blown apart by the resultant explosions. It had to be known that this pagoda was an ancestral item, so their weapons were fundamentally unable to block it. They were instantly killed. The explosion of the pagoda killed half the corrupt experts present. Due to the close distance and suddenness, there had been no chance for them to dodge. 
However, Long Chen also suffered. This was Long Chen's full strength attack. He had used Dragon Bone Evil Moon's innate hardness, not a technique. As a result, his arms were broken, and his hands were bleeding profusely. As for the explosion of the ancestral item, Long Chen used the pot to block it. To compare the pot to Evil Moon, when he had used the pot to defend against Pen Wancheng's ancestral item spear, several fine cracks had appeared on the pot, but Evil Moon had been completely fine after crushing the spear. The resulting backlash almost caused Long Chen's arms to explode. However, he didn't care about that, as he was overflowing with killing intent. After smashing apart the pagoda, he used the life energy of the primal chaos space to instantly heal. He didn't give his opponents any chance to retaliate, and he attacked once more. The dwarf coughed out a large mouthful of blood when his ancestral item exploded. He held his head in pain as he flew back. As the master of the pagoda, his soul was linked to its item spirit. Its death made his head feel like it was about to explode. He could only retreat. He had only just fallen back when Long Chen came rushing in. The surviving corrupt experts were horrified. With just one slash of his saber, Long Chen had sealed heaven and earth. A huge saber image came slashing toward them. The Life Star experts summoned their manifestations and released their full power, but they were like cabbages in front of Evil Moon and were slain rapidly. After this attack, Long Chen reached out and grabbed one of the corrupt experts that only had half his body left. He grabbed his head. Long Chen's spiritual strength poured in. It was like a blade piercing into the corrupt expert's soul in the most tyrannical manner. Long Chen's soul had only just entered the mind sea when the expert's head exploded. His soul was locked with restrictions that caused him to explode. There were also people from the ancient races and ancient family alliance, raged Long Chen. Although that person's soul had detonated, Long Chen had managed to see a fragment. That fragment contained the figures of the ancient races and ancient family alliance. In other words, the ones who had attacked the Zhuanshan Dao sect weren't just the corrupt path. They included the ancient family alliance and ancient races. Long Chen instantly understood that those three powers had decided to join hands to attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect since they were unable to get revenge on him personally after all the heavy losses he had inflicted on them. The Zhuanshan Dao sect might be one of the three great heavenly sects, but it had already declined. Under the combined attack of these three powers, it couldn't fight back. Corrupt path, ancient races, and ancient family alliance. You should all die. Long Chen roared and started a slaughter of the surviving corrupt experts. They were horrified. Although they had heard that Long Chen was extremely powerful, they hadn't expected him to be such a monster. He wasn't an Empyrean and had no heavenly Tao suppression on them, relying entirely on brute power. Yet, this brute power was so strong that they couldn't even block one of his attacks. The black saber in his hands was like a life-reaping fiend, continuously harvesting their lives. They didn't even have the courage to fight Long Chen any longer. Wherever his saber went, no one could block it. Although Evil Moon refused to lend Long Chen its power, just its weight with Long Chen's power was unstoppable. Long Chen didn't need heavenly Tao suppression. He would suppress them with brute power and didn't need technique. He released all the fury in his heart. Quick, use the divine item to suppress him, roared a corrupt expert. Long Chen was continuously reaping the corrupt expert's lives. There was no way for them to stop him. Just at this moment, the corrupt dwarf managed to suppress the pain in his head. He waved his hand, and a giant skull appeared, filling the air with an evil aura. It was the corrupt path's divine item the corrupt god skull. As soon as it appeared, a blood-colored light launched out of it, shooting at Long Chen like a sharp sword. Chapter 1468 Evil Moon vs. Skull Translator Born to be the blood-colored ray of light shot out, and it was like time froze. Long Chen felt a terrifying pressure crash down on him, making him feel like he was locked in an iceberg and unable to move. This was the pressure of a divine item. Only other divine items could resist it. Long Chen let out a sharp cry, and green scales covered his body. Crack. A sound similar to ice cracking rang out in the space around Long Chen. He forcibly broke free of this lock, about to dodge. Don't dodge. Let me. Suddenly, Evil Moon, who hadn't said anything in many days, sent Long Chen a message. 
At the same time, a black aura condensed, and the void began to surge tumultuously around it. Long Chen hesitated, but clenching his teeth, he raised Evil Moon and slashed it at the blood-colored light. Following his movements, the black chi emanating from Evil Moon condensed into a black light that smashed into the attack. Boom. Black mist and blood-colored light intertwined. The two of them were in a stalemate for a moment as they raged against each other. You can block divine items. Long Chen was given a nice surprise. Divine items? Divine. My ass. That stupid skull is nothing more than a mortal husk left behind by someone who ascended. All that ascender left behind was a divine mark on it. It can't even count as a quasi-divine item. However, it still contains the slightest divine element to it. Through this attack, I can absorb that trace of divine essence. It's good stuff to me and can help me heal Evil Moon suddenly shut its mouth. There's no need to be so careful about what you say. Sovereign Yun Chang already told me everything about you. Your secrets aren't secrets to me. Back then, Sovereign Yun Chang harmed your core, and then you were suppressed by him and never able to heal. Right now, you're in an extremely weak state and need this divine essence to heal. It's not embarrassing, said Long Chen lightly. In truth, his heart was pounding fervently. He was truly shocked by Evil Moon's power. Based on its tone, it was much stronger than the corrupt god skull. Long Chen couldn't express his shock and delight. He had to act like this was simply natural. That would make it easier for Evil Moon to expose even more secrets. At the same time, Long Chen felt even more worship for Sovereign Yun Shang. Evil Moon was so terrifying, but had been suppressed by him so easily. Just what level were sovereigns? HMPH. Being defeated by Yun Shang has always been my greatest humiliation, snorted Evil Moon. It was clearly extremely displeased by its defeat. Holding Evil Moon, he could sense that as the black mist blocked the light from the corrupt god's skull, Evil Moon was absorbing its energy. Now he understood why divine items could not be blocked without other divine items. It was due to that special energy within them. That energy had surpassed Long Chen's current understanding, and he hadn't reached the point of touching that kind of energy. The corrupt experts didn't know what was happening with Long Chen and Evil Moon. In their view, Long Chen was using his own power to block the attack of the corrupt god skull, a divine item. Their eyes almost popped out in shock. How is this possible? The dwarf was also shocked. He suddenly recalled that the higher ups of the corrupt path had mentioned that Long Chen had obtained an extremely terrifying weapon that made all the other powers envious. They were all trying to obtain it. The higher-ups viewed this matter as top secret and hadn't told him the exact details. The corrupt experts that had managed to escape from the spirit world had all been ordered to keep their mouths shut. Some people even had their memories of Evil Moon sealed. It was just to make sure that fewer people would learn of Evil Moon, and it would increase their own odds of obtaining it. The dwarf was only in charge of observing this place. There was a formation laid down, but it was only for sensing what was happening here. Other experts would have great difficulty sensing the formation, because it wasn't a killing formation, even Long Chen hadn't sensed it. As a result, when the dwarf saw Long Chen, he immediately gathered people and used a transportation formation to rush over, laying a heaven-encompassing net to capture Long Chen. He thought he was about to accomplish a great merit, but instead, he realized Long Chen was far stronger than he had thought. The black mist released by Long Chen was fighting equally with the corrupt god skull's attack. The two of them were deadlocked. This brat, what kind of unorthodox method did he use to actually activate a divine item? This is completely against reason. The dwarf grumbled inside. It had to be known that the corrupt god skull he was using was not his. It was only because of his post that the corrupt god skull had been temporarily loaned to him to use. Furthermore. Just possessing it meant that he had to sacrifice a huge amount of energy and resources to nourish it. It looked mighty, but it was actually a hot potato. Others were envious of him when he had it, but his own heart was dripping blood. Ever since he had been loaned the corrupt god's skull, his sect had grown poorer and poorer. After being bestowed the pagoda, he had been planning on handing the corrupt god's skull to someone else. He couldn't handle it any longer, yet. The tower had been destroyed by Long Chen, and now even the corrupt god skull was in a bind against him. 
The dwarf could only pour in the energy of his spirit blood and spiritual yuan. That was because even life star experts weren't qualified to use divine items. However, the corrupt path's divine items could be used by corrupt experts who offered up their own spirit blood and spiritual yuan to it as an offering. The corrupt path's divine items didn't accept masters. They only accepted benefits. If someone gave them benefits, they would help them out. It was very simple. As the dwarf poured in his energy, not all of it was used to attack. The corrupt path's divine items were truly interesting. Either someone had to have the absolute power required to suppress it and make it so it didn't dare to resist, or they had to offer their energy to it. But just like the people in the corrupt path, their divine items were cruel and greedy. The dwarf was pouring in so much energy, but in reality, only 30% of his energy was being used to attack. 70% of it was taken by the corrupt god skull as a reward for itself. The corrupt path's weapons, whether they were ancestral items or divine items, relied on the nourishment of powerful souls or spirit blood. Even divine items wouldn't help out for nothing. That was why the corrupt path's life star experts could not possibly subdue divine items. They could only offer up their own energy to make them attack. Now, the two of them were in a deadlock. The dwarf was pouring in more and more of his energy. At first, he thought that the amount of energy he had would allow him to crush Long Chen. He thought that Long Chen wouldn't even last a breath's time. In fact, all the corrupt experts were of the same view, but they were disappointed to see that even after several breaths' time, Long Chen's expression was still calm. He didn't seem to find it the slightest bit taxing. On the other hand, the dwarf was already starting to sweat and turn pale. What are you all foolishly standing there for? Kill him, roared the dwarf at the stunned experts. Only then did they react and attack Long Chen. The first one had only just gotten close to Long Chen when a giant pot smashed into him. That life star expert exploded along with his spear. Long Chen held his saber in his right hand and a pot in his left hand. The life star experts that rushed toward him were all sent flying by the pot, and the unlucky ones were directly killed. Having advanced to the 10th heaven stage of Jade Core, Long Chen's power was limitless. Furthermore, the pot's item spirit was gradually awakening. When Long Chen attacked, it was starting to use its own power as well. When Long Chen used it, it would increase his power. This pot smash was incredibly powerful now. Furthermore, the pot could transform its size in accordance with how far away the enemies were. With Long Chen's current power, let alone a body of flesh and blood, even a giant mountain would crumble from his attack. As for the pot itself, its rust was capable of cancelling out its opponent's defensive runes. It managed to pass through any protective lights to directly strike the body behind. After over ten unlucky fellows were killed, the others retreated in fright. They hid at a distance and began launching long-range magical arts. The pot grew larger and acted as a shield, protecting Long Chen. Those attacks caused the void to tremble, but only caused some rust to fall from the pot. They were unable to pose any threat to Long Chen. How can he have this many treasures? The corrupt experts roared furiously. How could a Jade Core disciple possess two such priceless treasures? Whether it was the pot or the saber, they were both stronger than ancestral items. The corrupt experts attacked for a long time without any success, while the dwarf was starting to quiver. He suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. The blood transformed into an arrow that shot into the corrupt god's skull. Die, roared the dwarf. His expression twisted. That blood was his purest essence blood. It was a huge price for him, but he had no choice now. The corrupt god's skull's runes lit up, and the ray of light that was originally three meters thick instantly became almost ten times in size. Its power had also increased by ten times. That terrifying pressure shocked Long Chen, but very quickly, the black mist from Evil Moon increased in density. The two powers shook the sky. It felt like the world was about to explode, but they were still deadlocked. The dwarf's expression turned as pale as paper. Now he was stuck. If he cancelled his power, Long Chen's attack would instantly ear up and kill him. The corrupt god skull wouldn't save him. A crazy light suddenly shone in the dwarf's eyes. He spat out three mouthfuls of blood onto the corrupt god skull. The corrupt god skull began to rumble, and light began to shine where its eyes would be. 
It was like a sleeping fiend had suddenly woken. Chapter 1469 Destroying a Divine Item Translator Born to be the corrupt god Skull seemed to have awoken thanks to the dwarf's energy. A frightening aura filled the world. It was like the true corrupt god had descended. Long Chen jumped in fright. After coughing up three mouthfuls of blood, the dwarf withered and looked almost dead. In exchange, the corrupt god Skull looked alive now. Blood-colored flames burned in its eyes. Can you still handle it? Asked Long Chen to Dragonbone Evil Moon. He had no confidence against this corrupt god skull. He didn't even know if the pot could block it. It's just the husk of an ascender. It's nothing to fear. All I'm thinking about is how to completely split open its head and suck away all its divine essence. Do you have any ideas? Asked Evil Moon. You can't just directly hack it apart. Asked Long Chen. No. My current state is just too weak. If I went all out, defeating it would be no problem, but it would run away. You usually have a few evil ideas, so think of something, said Evil Moon. As Long Chen and Evil Moon conversed, two blood-colored rays of light shot out from the corrupt god Skull's eyes and at Long Chen. Raging flames incinerate the heavens. Golden flames filled the world. All the experts were enveloped by them. Boom. The place where Long Chen was at exploded. There was a hole left in the void, but Long Chen's figure had vanished. The dwarf was using his last remaining bit of energy to block the golden flames, and he was just barely able to endure. He stared closely at where Long Chen was. When he saw that hole in the void, he thought that Long Chen had been turned to dust. But suddenly, a lightning blade appeared behind him and mercilessly slashed down. The dwarf's fist was sent flying by the lightning blade. He was flying away when a flame spear pierced his head, causing it to explode. At the moment that he was slain, the corrupt god skull quivered. It had a slight connection with his soul, so it was also affected when the dwarf was killed. Right now, just at this moment, Long Chen's figure bizarrely appeared above the corrupt god skull. He stabbed Evil Moon into it. The previous Long Chen was not actually him, but a fake created by Lai Long and Huo Long. The two dragon images on Dragonbone Evil Moon lit up, and strange runes appeared on its tip. It actually ran through the corrupt god skull easily like it was tofu, piercing all the way to the hilt. Boom. Suddenly, the corrupt god skull trembled violently. Countless blood-colored runes lit up on it, and the roars of millions of life-reaping fiends stabbed into people's ears and souls. At the same time, a terrifying power exploded. The sky crumbled and Long Chen wasn't able to keep hold of Evil Moon. He was blown away. Long Chen coughed up blood repeatedly, and his body was covered in cracks. He was blown into the distance by terrifying astral winds. Explosive sounds continued to ring out. Long Chen barely managed to stabilize himself from the first wave when more astral winds buffeted him. His flesh was ripped off his body, revealing bone. Long Chen was horrified and hastily used the primal chaos space's life energy to heal. Fortunately, the world trees held vast life energy. As he extracted all this energy, they weren't damaged at all. Endless life energy poured throughout his body, giving birth to new flesh. In just a few breaths, Long Chen's terrifying injuries were completely healed. At this time, Long Chen had been blown tens of thousands of miles away. He could see that in the distance. The terrifying corrupt god skull had exploded in size, becoming a hundred miles wide. But as it grew, Dragonbone Evil Moon also followed. Its blade was firmly stabbed into its skull, and no matter how the corrupt god skull tried to struggle, it was unable to escape. This is the true power of divine items? In front of this kind of energy, humans are nothing more than ants. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked as he stared at the corrupt god skull. The world was constantly quivering, and space was twisting wildly. The stars in the sky were trembling in the face of this apocalyptic power. In comparison, the power that the dwarf had unleashed with the corrupt god skull was nothing more than child's play. This was its true power. No matter what the corrupt god skull did, it was unable to throw off Dragonbone Evil Moon. Whether it grew larger, whether it shrank, Dragonbone Evil Moon stuck on it. After an incense sticks time, its struggling grew weaker. In the end, it stopped moving. The blood-colored runes on it had all faded. Its entire body was white. Only then did Long Chen slowly approach it. 
the corrupt god skull had lost its original luster and looked like it had been eroded for tens of thousands of years. Finally, cracks covered its body and it crumbled, transforming into bone particles that blew away with the wind. A terrifying divine item had been destroyed just like that. On the entire battlefield, only Long Chen was alive. The other corrupt experts had been busy handling the golden flames and hadn't realized that death had already come for them. When the corrupt god skull unleashed its full power, they had all been slain by it. Why don't you run away? Long Chen stood in the air, looking at Dragonbone Evil Moon that had transformed into 30,000 meters long. Ron, are you insulting my evil dragon race? I didn't even think about running in front of a sovereign. Do you think a little human like you can make me run? Sneered Evil Moon. If you left, you'd be free, said Long Chen. Do you think I'm stupid? You have Yun Shang seal. How could I be free? Although you're insignificantly weak and not fit to hold me, I suppose your brain can just barely count as not bad. At the very least, your guts aren't small. I can consider cooperating with you, said Dragonbone Evil Moon. Cooperate? Cooperate how? In the future, when you run into existences on this level, I can help you handle them. But you have to give me enough benefits. Remember. This is not submission. Your power simply isn't fit for that. We are just cooperating. If it's not a battle involving divine items, I won't help you. Even if you're dying, I'll just watch, said Evil Moon obstinately. Long Chen smiled. He suddenly felt extremely grateful for Sovereign Yun Shang. Now he knew why Sovereign Yun Shang had left Evil Moon to him. Although Evil Moon was an evil weapon with a brutal and tyrannical item spirit. It was also extremely prideful. Although it had tried to seduce and threaten him, it had never tried to trick him. Perhaps it didn't know how, but Long Chen felt that it was mostly because it disdained doing such a thing. However, it was true that with his current power, there was no way for him to subdue Evil Moon. The power difference between them was too immense. The difference was like an ant and a dragon noveloon.com Sovereign Yun Shang had left this dragon in his hands. As for the best way to use Evil Moon, Long Chen would have to figure it out himself. I accept. Long Chen naturally wouldn't refuse such a thing. If he didn't meet with a divine item, then the pot should be enough. He wouldn't need Evil Moon. Furthermore, he could rely simply on Evil Moon's way to blow away his enemies. How much did the corrupt god skull's energy help you recover? 10%. Asked Long Chen. 10%? Ha ha ha. How much divine essence could be contained in an ascender's husk? I can't believe you even call such trash treasures. Calling them divine is a joke. In my peak, the master of that skull wouldn't even be worth shit, sneered Evil Moon. Although it didn't reply directly, its meaning was clear. That corrupt god skull's energy was far from satisfying it. Don't be in such a rush. By coming with me, I guarantee there will be countless powerful enemies. You don't need to worry about that point at all. Long Chen smiled. That smile was very sinister. With Dragonbone Evil Moon cooperating with him, he was thinking of some possible big business. I hope so. That husk's divine essence was lacking. The main thing is that it lacked any innate divine essence. Anything without innate divine essence is garbage. Hence, this skull shows how stingy the Ascender was. They didn't want to leave much behind for their descendants after ascending. But even a bug has some meat that can let me recover a bit. I see you have many enemies. That's good for me, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded and returned Evil Moon to the primal chaos space. He took out a map and quickly found a marking. The heaven suppressing magic sect when killing the dwarf. He had managed to gather a single fragment of his soul. It was extremely muddled and chaotic. But within that chaos. He had seen a divine item. It was a violet gold magical staff. Although Long Chen didn't have much of an understanding of the heaven suppressing magic sect, he was well aware of their divine item, the violet gold soul devouring staff. It was famous, and he had even seen it before. The heaven splitting battle sect had the heaven splitting blade, which was claimed to be number one in offensive power. As for the Zhuanchen Dao sect's Zhuanchen Tower, it was believed to be unparalleled in defense. Lastly, the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff was said to possess the greatest destructive power. When put like this, the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff seemed a bit contradictory with the Heaven Splitting Blade. In truth, 
There was no contradiction. It was true that the heaven splitting blade possessed the greatest offensive power. The violet gold soul devouring staff was used to unleash terrifying area attacks. There was once a saying that wherever the violet gold soul devouring staff went, all life vanished within 10,000 miles. It could create a terrifying domain where no life could exist. Seeing this staff in that fragment of the dwarf's memories, Long Chen's killing intent sword. He hadn't expected that even the heaven suppressing magic sect had participated in this. Determining the direction, Long Chen rushed off toward the heaven suppressing magic sect. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was gone, and he had no idea whether Li Xiangxuan, Wild, and the others were still alive. He would start his investigation with the heaven suppressing magic sect, of course. Long Chen's investigation style was different from others. It might be a bit bloody. Chapter 1470 Killing His Way Into the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect Translator Born to be the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect was also one of the three great heavenly sects. It was one of the three strongest sects in the martial heaven continent after the immortal era. Its history was extremely long. After the last dark era, the three great sects had completely declined. But compared to the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect had lost much less in the Dark Era. There were rumors that during the last Dark Era when everyone else went all out to face the bloody slaughter, the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect had secretly held back its true power, acting like a turtle in its shell. That was the only way its inheritance could be preserved perfectly. So amongst the three heavenly sects, it was flourishing the most. The Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had always suppressed the Zhuanshan Dao Sect after the Dark Era. Practically, everyone on the Martial Heaven Continent felt that the Zhuanshan Dao Sect had become a convenient punching bag. However, the truth was that someone in the shadows was secretly directing the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect to suppress the Zhuanshan Dao Sect. The one secretly directing them was Pill Valley. To be more accurate, it was the radical faction within Pill Valley. They were the ones thinking of various strategies to use against existences that refused to submit to Pill Valley. The Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's suppression of the Zhuanshan Dao Sect was a good example. The Zhuanshan Dao Sect had declined to the point where they couldn't retaliate. There were thousands of years of history involving the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect bullying the Zhuanshan Dao Sect. It had become the accepted state of things due to their bullying. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had become the laughing stock of the continent. Even many second-rate sects looked down on them. If they didn't have their fame as one of the three great heavenly sects, it might be very difficult for them to even recruit disciples. Even so, they were only able to get some ordinary disciples. When Long Chen had joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the fact that there had been rank 5 celestials joining had delighted the Zhuanshan Dao sect but in the eyes of other sects. They were just garbage and not fit to be seen. However, after Long Chen had joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had gone through a heaven flipping change. Ever since the disciples Ma Zingkong had led over to humiliate, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been given a slap in the face by Long Chen. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had been filled with new air. That resounding slap was like a proclamation that the Zhuanshan Dao sect was no longer the old Zhuanshan Dao sect starting then. The Dragon Blood Legion had rapidly risen, growing stronger and more terrifying by the day. In just a few years, they had grown to the point that they shocked the entire continent. Previously, Long Chen had announced to everyone in front of the Zhuanshan Dao sect that the Zhuanshan Dao sect was rising. Anyone who dared to block their rise, whether they were man or god, would be eliminated. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had risen rapidly, while the Heaven Splitting Battle sect was also recovering. It was like a spring breeze was blowing through the branches of two withered trees. These two ancient sects that had been dormant for so long were finally starting to thrum with vitality, and they supported Long Chen. On the opposite side, the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had grown more and more mediocre in comparison. They now no longer dared to challenge the Zhuanshan Dao Sect they were constantly worried. That was because everyone knew of the grievances between them and the Zhuanshan Dao sect. If the Zhuanshan Dao sect suddenly rose, the heaven suppressing magic sect wouldn't have any good days in the foreseeable future. However, their vice sect master, Ma Zingkong, had been slain in the Battle of Devil Spirit Mountain. As for their sect master Chi Yuneo, 
he had been summoned by Pill Valley to charge toward the Zhuanshan Dao sect along with the experts from other sects and the ancient races. But instead, they had been viciously slapped in the face and forced to leave dejectedly. After that, the heaven-suppressing magic sect had been completely obedient. The entire heaven-suppressing magic sect was very reserved, no longer having their old arrogance. Even their disciples were no longer arrogantly looking down on others. The reason Long Chen knew this was because he had spotted several of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. He was in front of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's gates. Warm sunlight sprinkled on the ground. Towering mountains covered in mist filled this region. There were dozens of disciples standing in front of the gates. They had long since gotten used to this beautiful scene and stood there like wooden statues, not moving. These disciples were at the sea expansion realm and were celestials. For the heaven-suppressing magic sect to send sea expansion celestials to guard the gate, it could be seen how much stronger they were than the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The Zhuanshan Dao sect normally had outer sect disciples guarding the gate, and they were only at the Xianshan realm. Those disciples now saw a black-robed man with a large black saber resting on his shoulder slowly walking up the steps. He was sharply contrasted by the sunlight. He was walking slowly and calmly, yet each step caused the ground to shake. It was like a giant was walking. The sunlight caused a halo to appear around him, making it so others couldn't see his face clearly. This figure was mysterious, yet he also gave off a heavy feeling that made it hard for them to breathe. This place is the heaven-suppressing magic sect newcomers must state their names. Those disciples shook. This black-robed man hadn't released any of his aura, but they all felt their hair standing on end. The black-robed man seemed to not hear their words. He continued walking slowly. He was getting closer and closer, and the ground was shaking harder and harder. His footsteps were like thunder in their ears. Those disciples felt that this person was a fiend from hell slowly approaching them. They could smell the scent of blood and slaughter. All the disciples suddenly took out their blades. One carefully shouted, Newcomer, report your name. Otherwise, don't blame us for activating the grand formation to kill you. Yet, the figure still ignored them. He continued walking. As he advanced, the sunlight eventually fell away from his figure. Long, Long Chen, when the piercing sunlight stopped shining on him, those disciples all saw the young face that had shaken the entire martial heaven continent. Sword-like eyebrows and starry eyes. It was a handsome face that was worth a second look. But at this time, that face was completely icy. His eyes contained terrifying killing intent. With Evil Moon on his shoulder, Long Chen slowly advanced. He had black robes and a black saber. He was just like a devil god. If you don't want to die, don't get in my way. Long Chen's footsteps didn't pause as he slowly raised Evil Moon. Buzz. One of the disciples hastily slapped one of the stone pillars beside him. Countless runes gathered in the air into a runic blade that slashed down on Long Chen. This runic blade was the result of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's grand formation. It could easily kill life star experts. Bang. A scale-covered fist smashed apart the huge runic blade and the resulting shockwave killed the disciples guarding the gate. I gave you a chance, but you didn't take it. Don't blame me. Long Chen snorted and took a single step forward, vanishing. When he reappeared, he was within the heaven-suppressing magic sect. Continuous explosive sounds began to ring out, and a huge barrier of light covered the entire heaven-suppressing magic sect. But at this time, Long Chen was already inside. Who dares? A cold cry rang out. A life star expert appeared. However, Long Chen ignored him. He continued at the same pace, going toward a certain mountain. The heaven suppressing magic sect had 81 large mountains and 49 rivers. The refined mountains and winding rivers made the scenery here exceptionally beautiful. Even such beauty couldn't influence their hearts. A disdainful expression appeared on Long Chen's face. He hadn't expected the heaven suppressing magic sect to be so beautiful. However, there was no way to describe the heaven-suppressing magic sect as a magical wonderland filled with heroic spirit. This beautiful scenery had only raised a group of sinister and shameless fellows. This beauty was a waste. Long Chen, you dare to barge into my heaven-suppressing magic sect? Haha, <laughs> your guts are quite big. Countless experts began to rush over, and they all saw that it was Long Chen. 
A life star expert sneered at him. My guts might be even bigger than you think. Call out Chi Yuneo. Long Chen didn't even look at that person. He continued advancing, crossing several miles with each step. It looked both slow and fast at the same time. Little brood, you're listed as a wanted criminal throughout the entire Martial Heaven continent, but you still dare to say such arrogant words. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. This life star expert was the person promoted to the Visek master position after Ma Zingkong had died. The only reason he had been promoted was thanks to Long Chen. If Ma Zingkong hadn't died, he never would have had that opportunity to be promoted. Yet, he didn't thank Long Chen at all. With a cold smile, he took a single step, seeming to teleport in front of Long Chen. This was a spatial art, and it was extremely profound. Normally, only a life star expert could possibly use such a technique. When he appeared in front of Long Chen, the runes behind him connected with the grand formation in the air. He sent out a punch at Long Chen. This punch contained the power of the grand formation. It seemed to come from every direction. Pow. He was still sneering when a large hand viciously slapped him across the face and distorted his smile. The sound shook the sky, and the entire formation trembled. This new Visect Master was slapped flying. The sound of bones breaking also rang out. The Visect Master's face had caved in. Beads of blood sprinkled through the air along with some broken bones. The millions of disciples of the heaven-suppressing magic sect were struck dumb like chickens having heard thunder. They couldn't believe their eyes. Their vice sect master, a life star expert, someone backed up by their sect's grand formation, was sent flying by a slap in the face from a disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. This was thanks to the grand formation's protection. Otherwise, this vice sect master would no longer exist in this world. At the Jade Core Realm, Long Chen almost killed a life star expert with a slap. All the experts of the heaven suppressing magic sect were stunned. Unable to move or speak. Help me out? Do you really think you're capable of that? What a huge joke. Long Chen didn't even look at the Visect Master. He continued walking forward. As he advanced, all the experts in front of him fell back. Even their Visect Master had almost been killed by a slap. They were filled with horror. Little brood. You're too arrogant. This isn't somewhere you can run rampant. Be suppressed. The Visect Master suddenly let out a furious roar and rapidly formed hand seals. The Grand Protective Formation began to quiver. Chapter 1471 Challenging a Sect on His Own Translator Born to be the Grand Formation in the air shook, and countless runes gathered from it, condensing into a golden spear. It pierced down like a heavenly spear. This was an attack that contained the full power of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's Grand Protective Formation. It was terrifyingly powerful. Just the pressure from it made everyone's hearts quiver. Moreover, they were just feeling some weak shock waves. They were unable to imagine the pressure Long Chen was under as the main target of the attack. The heaven suppressing magic sect's mouths are loathsome. Ah, whatever. I'll be the one helping you out today. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon, and a huge black saber image crashed into the spear. Boom Novaloon.com The spear exploded. Not only that, but the huge saber image also split apart the sky. The grand formation was broken. Cracks spread throughout the formation until it completely shattered. The grand formation it, it broke. Long Chen's shocking attack not only crushed the grand formation, but it also crushed all their hearts. His arrival had caused an alarm to ring throughout the sect all their experts had rushed over, only to witness a power even more terrifying than the legends. Long Chen's power made it so none of them even dared to resist. They were all pale, filled with terror. The Visect Master coughed up blood from the backlash of having the Grand Formation broken. Suddenly, his vision flashed. Long Chen had appeared in front of him and slapped him in the face. Your mouth is too disgusting. The Visect Master already had a handprint on his face from the first slap. This time, he wasn't sent flying but was directly blown apart instead. Long Chen swung the back of his palm in another slap, which ended up missing. His original intent had been to continuously slap the Visect Master. He had forgotten that without the support of the Grand Formation, the Visect Master couldn't endure even a slap from him. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's people had extremely weak physical bodies. 
With his physical body destroyed, the Visect Master's Yuan spirit flew out. He tried to flee, as there was no way he could block Long Chen. The Visect Master was filled with regret. He had been too confident. He had never imagined that Long Chen was so terrifying. Just as he turned to flee, Long Chen pointed a finger. A lightning arrow pierced through the Yuan spirit. Nau. The Visect Master's cry of despair hung in the air as his Yuan spirit exploded. Ripples spread in the air where he died. He didn't know about what Qi Yuneo did. Long Chen was surprised. He had rapidly investigated the Visect Master's soul, and he hadn't found any restrictions. He had quickly gone through the majority of his memories but hadn't seen any memory of Qi Yuneo attacking the Zhuanshan Dao sect when he had killed the corrupt dwarf. He had managed to grasp a fragment of his soul in which he had seen the violet gold soul devouring staff unleashing a powerful attack, as well as Qi Yuneo's figure. Clearly, this Visect Master didn't know the truth. Long Chen waved his hand, and the ripples in the air faded. The Visect Master completely died. All members of the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, I, Long Chen, have come today for revenge. If you don't want to die, then you should hurry up and scram. Long Chen looked coldly at the distant disciples of the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect. Long Chen began to float into the air, Dragonbone Evil Moon on his shoulder. After killing the Visect Master, he appeared indescribably imposing. He was like the reincarnation of a devil god. Haha. <laughs> How senseless Dragonbone Evil Moon snorted, its voice full of disdain. It clearly found Long Chen's actions to be incorrect. To Dragonbone Evil Moon, there was no need to even say such a thing. Since he had decided to be decisive, then he should slaughter everything within the heaven suppressing magic sect, making it a land of death without even a chicken overlooked. Yet, for Long Chen to actually warn such people, Dragonbone Evil Moon couldn't comprehend such foolishness. Long Chen, are you trying to get yourself killed? Just as all the experts of the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect were filled with terror, a voice suddenly rang out. Two new figures appeared. One was the one Long Chen recognized, Qi Yuneo. He held a violet gold staff in his hand, and divine light circulated around his body. That staff was composed of nine strands of wood, and its head had nine gemstones shining with divine light. Primal chaos circulated around it along with the Grand Dao. This was the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's core divine item, the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff. It was as famous as the Zhuanshan Tower and the Heaven Splitting Blade. There was also an elder beside Qi Yuneo. When Long Chen saw this person, he narrowed his eyes. He also recognized this person. He was a life star expert, but he was not from the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, no. He came from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Back then, the Eastern Xuan branch of the Martial Heaven Alliance had had their Vice Alliance Master, Dang Kang, collude with Pill Valley's Zhuo Xiangxiang. They had tried to borrow the power of all the Eastern Xuan region sects to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect. However, Long Chen had slapped them in the face, and then the Huaian sect's Yu Qingshan had exposed Dang Kang and Zhuo Xiangxiang's relationship. In the end, Dang Kang had been handled by the Martial Heaven Alliance. Afterward, the Martial Heaven Alliance had sent someone to the Zhuanshan Dao sect to express their apologies and give them their reward for their contributions. They had also done the transactions for the resources the Zhuanshan Dao sect had asked for with the greatest speed. The person in charge of that was precisely this person. Long Chen recalled that his name was Luo Jinan. He was the current Vice Alliance Master of the Eastern Xuan Region's Martial Heaven Alliance. For him to appear now, Long Chen immediately sensed something fishy. He coldly stared at the two of them, not saying anything. Qi Yuneo's arrival lifted the spirits of all the disciples present. The Sect Master has finally come out of seclusion. We're saved. Please Sect Master, kill this brute Long Chen. But don't give him too easy of a death. Don't forget to extract his soul. There are plenty of ways of slowly torturing him. The terrified disciples immediately had their morale explode. They all began to curse Long Chen, looking like they wanted to personally tear him apart piece by piece. They were no longer afraid. Didn't I tell you that you were stupid? You actually wanted to let these people off? Did you think they would be grateful? What a joke, sneered Evil Moon. I have no enmity with these people, so I gave them a chance to live. If they could grasp it, 
then fine. If they couldn't, then I'll simply kill them and they can't blame me. I always keep my conscience clean, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen was not a saint, but he wasn't a homicidal maniac either. Amongst the millions of disciples in the heaven-suppressing magic sect, there were many idiots, but there were definitely some good people as well. For this small portion of good people, Long Chen gave them a chance to live. As for whether those good people grasped that chance to leave or not, it was up to their luck. In this merciless world of slaughter, he could only do so much. To be merciful on the battlefield was purely courting death, and that death would be very miserable. Experts had to kill decisively. They couldn't be sloppy, nor could they be soft-hearted. That was why Evil Moon found Long Chen's actions very contemptible. But Long Chen had his own principles. What bullshit. It's just a waste of time, said Evil Moon disdainfully. Long Chen ignored its tone. Instead, he asked, Can you handle the violet gold soul devouring staff? That was the heaven suppressing magic sect's core divine item. Everyone knew its power. Now that he saw it, he felt a bit uncertain. That staff is a bit decent I suppose. Perhaps I can't handle it in my current state. Evil Moon's words caused Long Chen's expression to change, but it hastily added, Don't start cursing. First, I'm still very weak. And two, I'm still under the sovereign seal. It's only natural I can't beat it. But don't panic. Although I can't beat it, holding on against it for some time won't be a problem. This time, we're only here to dredge up some benefits before leaving. After hearing the rest, Long Chen felt better. If Evil Moon couldn't handle the violet gold soul devouring staff, then today, he would have really sent himself to his death. Now, he didn't need to be in a rush. He calmly stared at Chi Yuneo and Luo Jinan. Long Chen, you are a disciple of the righteous path, but your heart is filled with evil. You slaughter your fellow race and join sides with devils. You've become completely different. Don't you think it's time to put down your blade and face the consequences? Shouted Luo Jinan. Long Chen stared at Luo Jinan and then looked at Chi Yuneo. Possibilities rapidly flitted through his mind. He calmly said, Luo Jinan, as Vice Alliance Master of the Eastern Xuan region, what intentions do you have by slandering me? Slander? You are a wanted criminal of not only the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, and the Blood Kill Hall, but you are also a wanted criminal of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Everyone has issued a death warrant for you. When everyone in this world is already your enemy, why would I need to slander you? Sneered Luo Jinan. Even the Martial Heaven Alliance views me as a wanted criminal? That's surprising. What's the reason? Asked Long Chen lightly. The reason? You betrayed the continent and colluded with the spirit world's tree demons. You even helped those tree demons slay your fellow humans. If you just killed corrupt experts, no one would care. But you killed people from the ancient races, and that threatens the peace of the continent. Most importantly, you even slaughtered people from the ancient family alliance mercilessly. They are a faction within the righteous path. Now, not only are you a traitor of the righteous path, but you are also a traitor of the entire continent. So, is this reason enough? Luo Jinan smiled coldly, with the violet gold soul devouring staff on their side. He was fearless. Is it just because of this that you joined hands to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Long Chen's voice instantly became chilly, and boundless killing intent erupted. Chapter 1472 World Destroying Apocalypse Light Translator Born to be Long Chen, don't slander others. Who are you accusing of destroying the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Shouted Chi Yuneo angrily. Long Chen, what nonsense are you saying? When did the Zhuanshan Dao sect get destroyed? Luo Jinan also shouted along. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen raised his head and laughed loudly. This laughter was full of killing intent. The world seemed to become dark, as if all its light and color had been sucked away. Even the sun in the sky no longer appeared as bright. This killing intent. Dragonbone Evil Moon muttered to itself. Shocked. Long Chen was laughing out of rage. He was now 100% sure that these two were aware of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction. According to logic, if Chi Yuneo didn't know about what happened with the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he would first display shock and not immediately accuse him of slander. As for Luo Jinan, adding on his cover-up only made it worse. These two definitely knew about this matter. 
In fact, perhaps Luo Jinan had participated in it, seeing these two sanctimoniously criticizing him, acting like they stood on the side of right and morality, Long Chen's killing intent sword. Since that's the case, you can both die. Long Chen's divine ring appeared, five stars circulated in his eyes, and green dragon scales covered his body. He raised Dragon Bone Evil Moon, and a huge saber image tore into the clouds. Not good. Chi Yuneo's expression changed. This attack was so powerful that even before the saber image slashed down, the mountain beneath him was crumbling. Kyang Conformation. Soul Devouring Staff. Seal. The violet gold soul devouring staff's divine light suddenly connected to the peaks of the 80. One mountains in the heaven suppressing magic sect their power combined to form a giant seal character. When the seal character appeared, time and space froze. The world entered a strange static state. This was the heaven suppressing magic sect's Kyang conformation. It came from ancient times, and its power was terrifying. With the violet gold soul devouring staff at its core and the energy within the 81 mountains, this formation could seal devils and gods. When the seal character appeared, everyone was unable to move. However, there was one exception. It was unable to seal Dragon Bone Evil Moon. The two dragon images on it seemed to come to life, and the saber image fell onto the seal character. The seal character instantly exploded. It was unable to bear Evil Moon's power. When it exploded, the 81 mountains were also blown to bits. The entire heaven suppressing magic sect was badly damaged. As for the disciples on the mountains, not one of them managed to escape. They were all killed. Even soul transformation elders were unable to survive those explosions. In the entire heaven suppressing magic sect, the only mountain to survive was the one Long Chen was standing on. It was the core of the heaven suppressing magic sect and protected by the violet gold soul devouring staff. It was now a lonely mountain in this destroyed land. Long Chen, I will tear you to pieces. Chi Yuneo let out a furious roar. He practically went insane. This one attack almost completely destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect. Chi Yuneo, when you joined hands with the corrupt path to destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Did you once think about the Zhuanshan Dao sect's grief? Let's just see who tears who to pieces. Long Chen roared furiously, and black light exploded out of Evil Moon. The world seemed to transform into an endless hell. World-destroying apocalypse light. Chi Yuneo raised the violet gold soul devouring staff. Divine light condensed and shot toward Long Chen. Boom. The black light collided with the divine light. The void exploded, and thunderous rumbling shook their ears. Long Chen, I can only give you an incense stick's amount of time. Figure things out on your own, said Dragonbone Evil Moon. Long Chen understood that in Evil Moon's current state, it could only last for this long. Brother Luo, quickly kill Long Chen. Chi Yuneo's expression changed. He was shocked to find that the violet gold soul devouring staff was sucked in by Long Chen's black saber. They were in a deadlock, so he immediately asked for Luo Jinan's assistance. Long Chen, you fiend, you've once more slaughtered countless innocents. Today, I'll take the places of the heavens to punish you. Luo Jinan shot toward Long Chen with a sword in his hand. Fuck your heavens. Long Chen released Evil Moon, a pot appearing in his hand. Boom. Another explosive sound rang out. Luo Jinan's sword shattered, while he himself was blown back, coughing up blood. Wa Chi Yuneo was shocked to see this. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be able to release his weapon and continue fighting. As for himself, when he tried to do the same, he found some strange energy from the Black Saber preventing him from throwing it off. It stuck to the Violet Gold Soul devouring staff like glue. Is this how you plan on tearing me to pieces? Then let's see who tears who to pieces. Starfall. Long Chen raised his hand, and a golden sphere appeared quickly growing larger before it rapidly fell down. Not good. Run. The experts on the core mountain all jumped in terror. They had never imagined that even Chi Yuneo wouldn't be able to kill Long Chen. Now they were all filled with regret. If they had fled when Long Chen had warned them, they wouldn't have fallen into such desperate straits. Boom. Starfall landed on the ground and exploded. A wave of flames spread in every direction. Ah. No. Save me. I don't want to die. Cries of misery and despair intertwined. 
but very quickly, hundreds of thousands of experts were turned to ash. The only area of the heaven suppressing magic sect that hadn't been destroyed had now become a sea of flames. On this huge mountain, the only structure to survive was the statue of the heaven suppressing magic sect's founder, Long Chen. Chi Yuneo's eyes almost exploded. He clenched his teeth so hard that blood almost came out. All the heaven suppressing magic sect's experts were dead now. The sole survivor of the sect was Chi Yuneo. All their buildings had been destroyed. The thing that enraged him the most was that even at this moment, the violet gold soul devouring staff was still bound by the black saber and unable to escape. If he wanted to kill Long Chen, he would have to fight him with his fists. But that would be no different than suicide. Brother Luo, go to the ancestral statue's head. Quick, shouted Chi Yuneo furiously. Luo Jinan didn't know what he was planning, but it just so happened that after being blown back by Long Chen's attack, he was very close to the statue. Buzz. Just as Luo Jinan reached the head of the statue, Chi Yuneo pressed the space between his eyebrows. Fresh blood spurted out, condensing into a rune in his hand. It rapidly lit up. When the blood rune lit up, a rune also appeared on the same spot of the giant statue. Divine light flowed out into Luo Jinan's body. Bathed in that divine light, a runic sword condensed in Luo Jinan's hand. With the divine light flowing around him, he seemed like a completely different person. Brother Luo, you have been blessed by the ancestor. Take my place to get rid of Long Chen, but leave his soul behind. I want to make sure he never reincarnates ever again, roared Chi Yuneo with rancor. Luo Jinan nodded and shot toward Long Chen, many times faster than before. He let out a single slash of his sword. Although it was a simple slash, its power caused the stars to quiver. Boom. Long Chen raised his pot, but as a result, he let out a muffled snort as he was blown back. Both his arms were numb, and his chest was hurting. He almost coughed up blood. Long Chen's eyes began to shine. It seemed he had underestimated the heaven-suppressing magic sect fortunately. He had Evil Moon first entangle the violet gold soul devouring staff making it so Chi Yuneo couldn't interfere. If Chi Yuneo had this blessing and used the violet gold soul devouring staff in this state, then his power wouldn't necessarily be something Evil Moon could block. Two streaks of sword light flew toward Long Chen. They were like torrents of power, and no matter how Long Chen dodged, he would still be struck. This kind of attack possessed an invisible locking power. It would follow Long Chen to the ends of the earth. Even if the attacker launched it with their eyes closed, it would land. This kind of attack could only be met head on. Long Chen blocked them both but couldn't help coughing up blood. The runic power behind these attacks was able to bypass the pot to land on his body. Long Chen, you should hurry up and let yourself be captured. That's the only way to lessen your sins, shouted Luo Jinan as he once more attacked with his runic sword. Double dragon destruction Long Chen suddenly shouted. Unleashing Lai Long and Huo Long, an insect's insignificant struggle. Break, Luo Jinan sneered. He felt a great power supporting him right now. He was like a god who could destroy the world with a wave of his hand. Long Chen's fierce attack blew apart. Lightning and flame runes flew out in every direction. In front of the current Luo Jinan, everything seemed so powerless. He was invincible. Die, Luo Jinan charged in front of Long Chen slashing his sword into him. Bang. Long Chen's body exploded, and Luo Jinan's expression changed. At the same time, Chi Yuneo's furious row rang out. Long Chen, you dare. Chapter 1473 The Heaven Suppressing Source Translator Born to be Luo Jinan was startled. The Long Chen in front of him exploded into flame runes. It was a fake. Then hearing Chi Yuneo's hysterical roar, he immediately turned back to see that at some unknown time, Long Chen had appeared in front of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's ancestral statue. The pot in his hand was already raised. There is nothing in this world that I, Long Chen, don't dare to do. Boom. With a cold smile, Long Chen's arm muscles bulged, and the pot grew gigantic as it smashed into the statue. The entire statue instantly crumbled. No. Chi Yuneo's expression completely changed. His eyes almost popped out. The instant the statue broke, he seemed to age countless years. As for Luo Jinan, when the statue exploded, the divine light around him faded and his runic sword vanished. 
A wave of weakness washed over him, making him almost collapse to the ground. His body was twitching. He was shocked to find countless wrinkles appear all over his skin. Looking at his own hands, he found that he was now skin and bones, like an elder on their deathbed. All his essence blood had been sucked away. How could this happen? Luo Jinan suddenly felt the world around him start spinning. He fell to the ground and never stood up again. The flames of his soul had been extinguished. Even as Luo Jinan died, he didn't understand why it had happened. The truth was that this divine blessing was a kind of sacrifice. Hence, Luo Jinan had unknowingly offered his chi, essence, and soul to the statue in exchange for temporary overflowing power. But when the statue broke, his life withered along with it Navaloon.com Oh, there's still a formation once the statue broke. Long Chen managed to see a cave in the ground below it. Within the cave was a 300-meter divine pool. This divine pool was filled with flowing runes. It was almost like lava, and it released terrifying fluctuations. When he saw the divine pool, the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate stars began to rapidly revolve, as if they had become excited. Is this something they need? Long Chen was delighted by this find and he reached out his hand. The divine liquid transformed into a current that directly flowed into his primal chaos space. Long Chen, you dare to take the heaven-suppressing source. I will. I will. Chi Yunao roared furiously, but he was unable to find any words to threaten Long Chen with. This divine liquid was not an actual liquid. This was the heaven and earth divine spring that the heaven-suppressing magic sect had accumulated over tens of thousands of years. It was a strange kind of energy. It could not be absorbed directly, nor could it be refined into pills. But this spring was something that decided the rise and fall of a sect. It was a condensation of a sect's karmic luck. Hence, it could not be lost no matter what. If it was lost or destroyed, then that sect's karmic luck would completely disappear, and the sect would disappear from the world sooner or later. Seeing the heaven suppressing source be taken away, Chi Yuneo's head nearly exploded. He almost fainted. When Long Chen destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect, when he killed the disciples, those didn't represent the death of the sect if the buildings were destroyed. The sect could be rebuilt. If the disciples were gone, new ones could be recruited and groomed. After all, this was the heaven suppressing magic sect, and it had countless businesses in the outside world. Some of their disciples were out there carrying out their duties so their inheritance hadn't been completely severed. As long as they had time, as long as they had resources, the heaven-suppressing magic sect could slowly recover. There was still hope. However, now that Long Chen had taken away the heaven-suppressing source, the heaven-suppressing magic sect had lost all its karmic luck. Bad luck would plague the heaven-suppressing magic sect until it completely vanished from this world. The cultivation world would no longer have a heaven-suppressing magic sect. Chi Yuneo was the current successor of the heaven-suppressing magic sect for the sect to be destroyed while it was in his command made him feel worse than if he were killed. Long Chen, there's not much time left. Long Chen had just taken away the divine liquid when he heard Evil Moon's voice in his head. He hastily rushed over, taking a deep breath. His 108,000 stars revolved and his four chi si surged. All his spiritual yuan instantly poured into Evil Moon. The void trembled as Black Chi erupted into a huge whirlpool. The divine light from the violet gold soul devouring staff was sucked into the black whirlpool, which diverted into the ground. A bottomless pit appeared. As for Long Chen and Evil Moon, thanks to the diversion, they slipped away. The black mist slowly faded, and the warm sunlight shone down once more. Yet, the original beautiful scenery had completely vanished. Everything within tens of thousands of miles had been destroyed, and this land was in complete disarray. AHH seeing this ruined scene, Chi Yuneo let out a wolf-like howl. He painfully swung his head several times before opening his eyes. He hoped that this was a nightmare, that it was all an illusion. But when he reopened his eyes, he still saw the same thing. Long Chen, I, Chi Yuneo, swear that if I don't kill you, I'm not human, as Chi Yuneo roared. The violet gold soul devouring staff unleashed blinding light, and terrifying divine pressure shook the void. Space twisted, and Long Chen fell from the sky. This place was a desert, 
far from the heaven suppressing magic sect all of his energy had been sent into Evil Moon, which had allowed for a one-time long-distance transportation. Long Chen collapsed on the ground, feeling like there wasn't the slightest bit of energy anywhere in his body. You got benefits too. Why did you have to take all my energy when we ran? Asked Long Chen. Dragonbone Evil Moon had definitely benefited greatly from the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff. But when it ran, it used all of Long Chen's energy, sucking his spiritual yuan dry. That was very unfair. Considering how weak you are, just cooperate. You're already at a great advantage. So you have to pay a price for that advantage. That's the only real way to be fair, said Evil Moon. Long Chen was silent and didn't retort. When he asked himself if that was true, he found that he truly did have a great advantage. If it hadn't been for Evil Moon, he wouldn't have been able to charge into the heaven-suppressing magic sect on his own. This time, he had relied on external power to take revenge. Although it was very satisfying, he didn't like that feeling. Evil Moon's power wasn't his power, and it was very dangerous. If there was one day he grew dependent on it and Evil Moon ended their cooperation, both his combat power and will would weaken greatly. Evil Moon, how strong is the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff? Asked Long Chen. How strong? Stronger than you could possibly imagine. In truth, this was very dangerous. That little fellow called Chi Yuneo, he was too careless. If he had sensed the danger from the start and directly summoned the blessing of the ancestral statue, using the power of his sect's karmic luck, you'd have died today, said Evil Moon. On the other hand, that was also thanks to Long Chen. Before entering, he had told Evil Moon not to release its aura. That was to lower his opponent's guard. That was why Chi Yuneo had felt that the black saber on Long Chen's shoulder was at most an ancestral item. That was the mistake that caused him to suffer such a miserable loss. Evil Moon might not say it, but it truly did admire Long Chen's intelligence. If it hadn't been for the flame clone and Long Chen's ability to misdirect his opponent's direction, he wouldn't have been able to trick the corrupt dwarf. Then he wouldn't have been able to stab Evil Moon into the corrupt god's skull. This time, he had once more used his wits to escape a fatal tribulation. That was no coincidence. How were your gains this time? Asked Long Chen. Decent. Last time I got an ant, and this time I finally got a piece of meat, said Evil Moon. It was pleased with its harvest this time. Long Chen finally understood why the difference between divine items could be so great. The corrupt god skull was on the same level as the reincarnation mirror, but when they were compared to the Zhuanshan Tower or the Violet Gold Soul Devouring Staff, the difference was immense. Long Chen. Are you afraid of me killing you once I get stronger? Asked Evil Moon suddenly. You don't have that ability Long Chen slowly sat up and brushed off some sand. After resting for a bit, he felt much better. HMPH, you're so confident snorted Evil Moon. My confidence doesn't just come from Sovereign Yun Shang's seal. I have my own power. In truth, I've wanted to test whether the primal chaos bead could kill you multiple times now. Long Chen's lips curled into a smile. As his cultivation base increased, his control over the primal chaos bead strengthened as well. He was the ruler within the primal chaos space, and nothing could resist him. This idea was something he had been thinking about since he had gone out to subdue Evil Moon. However, Sovereign Yun Shang had made things simple, so Long Chen never had a chance to use the primal chaos bead to handle it. HMPH. Evil Moon snorted and began ignoring Long Chen. After resting for a bit, spiritual Yuan finally began to circulate through his body once more. Only at this time did his mind enter the primal chaos space. He looked around for the divine liquid he had obtained, but he was shocked to find that it was gone. How? How is this possible? Long Chen jumped in shock. How could something be lost in the primal chaos space? There were no signs of it entering the ground but it had truly vanished. He went through every corner of the primal chaos space, even going through the black soil, but didn't find the slightest trace of it. Buzz. Suddenly, his mind see fiercely shook. He hastily looked within it. When he saw the scene inside his mind see, he jumped in shock again. He saw a large mass of divine liquid floating in front of the divine gate star. Countless runes within the divine liquid had formed tiny streams that were flowing into the divine gate star. 
The fist-sized divine gate star had now grown to three meters, and it was only growing gradually. As it circulated, his spiritual space rumbled. A powerful pressure was growing. It seems that I, I've found the correct way to condense the divine gate star. Chapter 1474 Shaking the Eastern Xuan Region Translator Born to be this divine liquid from the heaven suppressing magic sect was formed of countless tiny runes. They surged like lava. Those tiny runes were constantly being absorbed by the divine gate star. At the same time, the Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace stars began to undergo huge changes. Mist enveloped the stars, making it impossible to see the changes happening within. This heaven and earth divine spring that they had called the heaven suppressing source was an existence that symbolized their karmic luck. Each sect had a similar spring, as it represented their karmic luck. Observing it allowed others to determine whether a sect would flourish or decline. The more there was, the more the sect would flourish. But when it grew sparse, it signified the sect was starting to decline. At that time, the sect would have to raise its alarm. The divine spring was a way to measure a sect's rise and fall. This kind of thing sounded mysterious, but it truly existed. When a sect was established, it would have to establish this divine spring. The first generation founder would send in a trace of their own soul into a formation. That was the primer which condensed heaven and earth's chi flow. Following that, the divine spring would be formed. That meant that the sect had received the recognition of heaven and earth, and could flourish on the martial heaven continent. But there were many experts who had wanted to establish their own sects but hadn't received the same recognition. Unable to create a divine spring, there was no way for them to establish their sects. Of course, without the divine spring, they could force it and still create the sect but all those sects had miserable endings and they vanished like smoke, their people penniless and dead. Without condensing the divine spring, there was no way to create a connection with the chi flow of the world. It was like establishing a sect without a foundation. It could be destroyed at any moment. There was no way it would last past three generations. They were not recognized by heaven and earth. So all sects whose inheritances had lasted had their own divine springs. However, the difference in power between sects was different. So their divine springs were all different. But in any case, there was an iron law in this world. If a sect's divine spring was fully sucked dry, that sect would quickly vanish like smoke in the wind. This world would no longer have that sect's name again. Even if hundreds of thousands of years passed, it was impossible to create a sect with that name again. The laws of heaven and earth would not permit it. It would be impossible to create a divine spring for that sect in other words. Having lost their divine spring, the heaven-suppressing magic sect had lost their foundation. They would quickly vanish from this world forever. Destroying the divine spring was destroying the foundation of a sect on the martial heaven continent. Unless the enmity between two sides had reached a peak, no one would dare to do such a thing, as it was just too vicious. Furthermore, no one would really want to do such a thing. One reason was because a sect's divine spring would definitely be guarded with their greatest power, while another reason was that it didn't bring them any benefits. Even now, no one had found any uses for it other than a symbol for a sect's rise or fall. No matter what you tried to hold the divine spring in, it would slowly fade away once removed from the source. It would merge back with heaven and earth. In other words, it didn't have the slightest use. But when Long Chen took it into the primal chaos space, it actually ran over to his mind sea on its own and began to be absorbed by the divine gate star. All five stars resonated. Long Chen could clearly sense them growing stronger at a rapid pace. That speed was over a hundred times greater than when he crazily consumed medicinal pills. That was why his eyes were now shining. He could clearly feel his body undergoing a transformation. Although he didn't know what exactly that transformation was, he could feel himself rapidly getting stronger. The Divine Gate Star was like a gluttonous wolf enjoying a feast. But this feast was so large that it couldn't devour it in one gulp. It needed to absorb it slowly. You destroyed my Zhuanshan Dao sect. So I destroyed your heaven-suppressing magic sect. Are you happy now? A ruthless light appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Even now, he was unable to expel his hatred. It's too bad I couldn't get the truth out of Chi Yuneo. I don't know how connected this matter is to me. 
Even the nine-star hegemon body art wasn't able to figure out the truth of this matter. Long Chen sunk into thought. While at the Zhuangshan Dao sect, he had calmed himself down and used the nine-star hegemon body art to look back into the past. But he had still failed. At first he thought that he was too angry and unable to calm himself down. But now he realized he was wrong. Even if he was infuriated, that shouldn't affect the nine-star hegemon body art's capabilities. That was because the nine-star hegemon body art was not something to be cultivated calmly in any case. Long Chen sighed. After seeing the Zhuangshan Dao sect destroyed, he had been consumed with his rage. His killing intent had practically taken over. But after destroying the heaven-suppressing magic sect, he finally regained control of himself. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's violet gold soul-devouring staff was so powerful. Even Evil Moon was only able to stall it for an incense stick's time. Then the equally famous but defensively oriented Zhuangshan Tower should have been able to protect itself. At the very least, it should have been able to escape while protecting others. And with Li Xiangxuan's intelligence and decisiveness, he definitely wouldn't foolishly fight head on like Long Chen. He would definitely think of a way to escape. But even if the Zhuangshan Dao sect had managed to escape, it had to have taken miserable casualties. He had sensed boundless resentment where the sect had been. That was left over from people who had died. All life forms longed for life. When their life was forcibly ended, they would naturally feel resentment and unwillingness. As for the enemies that had attacked, they had clearly been prepared for a long time and planned a thunderous strike. They had definitely been terrifying experts. And so following that logic, the ones who had died at the Zhuangshan Dao sect had to be the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people. No matter how amazing Li Xiangxuan was, there was no way he could protect everyone. It would be amazing if he could even protect a portion of the elite disciples. Those outer sect disciples and workers had probably been mercilessly slaughtered. It was because he had sensed that boundless resentment that Long Chen's killing intent had soared out of control. Without even thinking about it, he had charged into the heaven-suppressing magic sect clearly. Only Chi Yuneo and that Vice Alliance Master of the Martial Heaven Alliance's Eastern Branch had known about this matter. Regretfully, Luo Jinan's soul had extinguished, and Long Chen hadn't even had a chance to soul-sark him. He felt a bit of regret. If he had brought Meng Chi with him this time, then with her help, he would have been able to learn the truth much faster. But the Dragonblood Legion was in the midst of rapidly getting stronger. He didn't want to go through the pain of the spirit world battle again. So he didn't want to disturb their advancements. Just one painful experience was enough. After recovering about 20% of his spiritual yuan, Long Chen took out a map and determined his position. He began going towards the eastern Xuan city. But before going, he had no choice but to change his appearance. At first. He also planned to change his robes. Black was too conspicuous. But then he decided against it. Black was his favorite color. The Zhuangshan Dao sect and the heaven-suppressing magic sect had been destroyed. This news would shake the eastern Xuan city, and perhaps the entire central plains. Long Chen was preparing to secretly investigate this matter. This matter had come too suddenly. He guessed that the heaven-splitting battle sect had no idea about this matter. Otherwise they would have been the first to leap out for the Zhuangshan Dao sect's vengeance. This was too bizarre. But now that he had calmed down, he thought of his best option, the Huaian sect he had to find Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong was the only one who could help him now. With the Huaian sect's vast network, not even a blade of grass could escape their eyes. They should be able to provide him with quite a bit of information. Having decided upon that, Long Chen quickened his footsteps. Starting today, his path had become even more difficult, but he had no fear. The news of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction had originally been sealed thanks to the corrupt path. The outside world hadn't learned about it, but the news that the heaven-suppressing magic sect had been destroyed spread like wildfire. In just a few hours, the entire eastern Xuan region learned of it. It was at that time that the news of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction also spread, as expected. The eastern Xuan region was greatly shaken. People didn't even dare to believe this news. Countless sects sent people to investigate the matter. 
They went to the heaven suppressing magic sect and saw the land was completely destroyed. When they saw the ancestral statue broken, the divine spring broken apart, they all gasped. This was too vicious. Whoever had done this had completely destroyed the foundation of the heaven suppressing magic sect. There would never be a heaven suppressing magic sect in this world again. I heard it was done by Long Chen. During the battle, there was someone in the distance who recorded it with a photographic jade. Although they were too far and the image is blurry, you can hear them talking. There's also Long Chen's unique divine ring. It should be accurate. How is that possible? Long Chen destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect on his own? Are you joking? No one dared to believe that a single Jade Core disciple had used their own power to kill a sect that had descended from the ancient era. The heaven suppressing magic sect was an existence that had even survived the dark era. For it to be destroyed by a Jade Core disciple, it was naturally unbelievable. But that blurry recording quickly spread through countless photographic jades. A chaotic uproar spread throughout the entire eastern Xuan region. Long Chen actually destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect on his own. Could it be that the destruction of the Zhuanshan Dao sect was done by the heaven suppressing magic sect? Otherwise, why would Long Chen repeatedly say that this was for revenge? Countless people began to make guesses as to what twists were behind this story. For two huge sects to have been successively destroyed was hard to accept. For a time, many sects began to shiver in apprehension, especially those sects who had once been enemies with the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Chapter 1475 Treacherous Scheme Translator Born to be the eastern Xuan city was flourishing just as it had before. Waves of pedestrians flowed through the streets. Just the transportation formations had thousands of people lining up. Long Chen had just reached the eastern Xuan city when he saw hundreds of experts in front of the transportation formation he was on, investigating everyone who was entering the city. There was a huge sign at the front, and the image of a person had been drawn on top of it. What uniform lines, what bright colors, even this person's expression, bearing, and emotion is captured so vividly. I dare say that this painter was an absolute master, seeing the painting. Long Chen couldn't help saying some words of praise. The person depicted on the sign was himself. The color, the details, they were all captured perfectly. Even Long Chen felt praise for the artist. It truly looked just like him. Hey, do you not want your life anymore? That person's a devil who kills without batting an eye. If you want to die, then don't bring me down with you. The man in front of Long Chen in the line turned back to glare at him. I was just commenting on the art. Based on your words, this handsome, heroic person has quite the story. Long Chen couldn't help feeling that this was funny. That person's expression changed, and he glared at Long Chen before actually going out of the line and getting back to the end, looking like he was avoiding a plague, as if just being near Long Chen would infect him. What? Seriously? Long Chen startled. How had his words provoked such terror? Little brother. You should be quieter. Don't find trouble for yourself. Let me tell you, those people up ahead are all bastards. Even if there's nothing wrong, they'll find something wrong. If you say anything regarding that person, they'll immediately investigate you, whispered the man behind him. It's not like I know the person in the picture. Why would I be afraid? Asked Long Chen. The person looked up ahead, and seeing they were still several miles from the front of the line. He seemed to feel that this distance was safe enough for him to say, Little brother, I can tell you have no experience with the world. What matters isn't whether or not you know that person. What matters is how much you have in your pocket. Understood. I really don't understand. Ah, youngsters, you just haven't suffered enough. Do you know who that person in the drawing is? Please tell me. This person's so handsome and carefree. A clearly remarkable hero. Someone who can hold up the heavens and the earth. Stop. Stop. If you start talking like this, I'll also join the line at the back, said that person helplessly. He was also afraid of being implicated. At this time, there were already several people near them in the line that had run to the back again, clearly wanting to distance themselves from Long Chen. On his way here, Long Chen had thought through many things, and he felt like Li Shi Yangsuan and Wild should still be safe. Furthermore, having taken a bite out of the violet gold soul devouring staff, he felt much better. 
he was more relaxed, which allowed him to joke around with this person. All right, fine, I won't say anything. Big brother, tell me, what's the story behind this? Long Chen directly gave this person a small jade bottle. The person was startled. He took the bottle, and sweeping it with his divine sense, he found a top grade ninth tier medicinal pill. He was ecstatic, but he was smart and that delight only flashed for a moment on his face before being suppressed. Now he felt that this inexperienced rookie was someone who had to come from an extremely shocking background. Most likely, he was someone with high status from a supreme power who had come out for experience. That was why he didn't understand the way the world worked. However, the way he spent his money was shocking. This one medicinal pill was worth over half his total wealth. Don't get any ideas. Although I don't know much, someone like you is unable to swindle me, said Long Chen, a touch of disdain appearing on his face. From that person's gaze, he had seen greed and craftiness. This person had actually started to view him as a fat sheep. Did his fake appearance really look like a spoiled young master? Long Chen made his gaze sharp. This person now felt like two sharp blades were piercing his heart and seeing through his thoughts. No, no. It was a misunderstanding. I wouldn't dare to have such thoughts. The person hastily shook his head. Sweat dripped down his forehead. He felt like a death god was staring at him. As long as Long Chen wished it, he could kill him. Speak. What exactly is going on? I only just came out for experience. So I don't know what's happening in this secular world. If you explain it properly, there might be a reward. Said Long Chen, boasting shamelessly. Since this person thought he was a young master, he could just act like a young master, someone who knew nothing about the world but was actually an extremely powerful existence. At least then an idiot wouldn't try to scam him. Yes, of course. It seems you're not someone from the Eastern Xuan region, or you definitely know who this terrifying existence is. That person hastily began to act sincerely. Don't try to guess my background. If you refuse to say, I'll just find someone else, said Long Chen impatiently. This person really viewed him as an idiot. He actually wanted to bait out information from him. Yes, yes, I'll speak. Seeing his impatience, this person hastily put away those thoughts and pointed to the painting. That person is a terrifying Yama King who has killed countless people. I suppose you know of the three great heavenly sects? Two of them were recently destroyed by him. Two. This time it was Long Chen's turn to be shocked. Yes, this person's name is Long Chen. He is a genius amongst geniuses, the most terrifying genius of the Eastern Xuan region. However, after going to the spirit world, an evil weapon took control of his mind, turning him into a devil. He kills anyone he sees, whether they are friend or foe. As soon as he returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he destroyed his sect, killing his masters and fellow disciples. Even the sect itself was turned into barren land. At first, most people didn't believe it. But yesterday, Pill Valley, the ancient races, Corrupt Path, the ancient family alliance, the Blood Kill Hall, and countless other large powers came forward to confirm that Long Chen is under the control of an evil weapon. He's no longer the old Long Chen. He's a fiend who kills without batting an eye, and all of them have sent out a death warrant for him. Even the Martial Heaven Alliance participated in the death warrant, and they've summoned all the large sects to hunt him down for the Eastern Xuan region's safety. And so, since everyone is hunting him down, the large transportation formations all have people screening them to make sure Long Chen doesn't come, said that person. Without even realizing it, Long Chen was clenching his fists tightly. Although he did his best to control himself, he couldn't hold back his fury. This was clearly a despicable and shameless attempt at framing him. It was a scheme the ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance had colluded to create. They were using Dragonbone Evil Moon to frame him for these criminal charges. Now the destruction of the Zhuanshan Dao sect had become something despicable that he had done. For them to say that he would do something like destroy his own sect and kill his elders. How could Long Chen not be enraged? It wasn't just the ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance. There was also Pill Valley which had been silent for so long. They had also participated in this, 
coming forward with their special status to confirm he was a fiend. This was a huge scheme, and one without any solution. Right now, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was gone, and the Martial Heaven Alliance was also against him. That was what infuriated him the most. Furthermore, considering that the Eastern Xuan region's Vice Alliance Master of the Martial Heaven Alliance had been at the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, Long Chen smelled a scheme. Now, he finally realized that the Martial Heaven Alliance had completely changed. It was no longer the fair and just Martial Heaven Alliance it had been in the past. It had taken him two days to arrive here. He could have come earlier, but he had waited to fully recover. Now his just suppressed rage soared once more. The entire world was now full of his enemies. Now that he learned this, his original confidence grew shaky. He was friends with Zheng Wenlong, and they had collaborated for a long time. They had a deep friendship, but could this friendship endure such a trial? That was difficult to say. Businessmen cared about profit. When the profits didn't match up to the danger, would he still collaborate with him? Zheng Wenlong was different from the Dragonblood Legion that had fought their way out of death together. Businessmen had to look at things from the viewpoint of a businessman. Otherwise, they wouldn't be worthy of being called businessmen. Long Chen now didn't know if he had made the right decision to come to the Eastern Xuan region. If he made the wrong choice, he wouldn't just lose a friend. He might have consigned himself to eternal damnation. Just as he was lost in thought, that person continued. In truth, this is all nonsense. Searching for Long Chen is just an excuse. This excuse has become a way to take other people's wealth. Oh, why is that just as Long Chen was asking this question? An uproar came from the front. Release me. I don't even know Long Chen. You're framing me. This isn't fair. The person shouting was a young man wearing luxurious robes. He looked to be a Jade Core expert with a certain status. But now his voice was full of terror. What a joke. Everyone in the Eastern Xuan region knows who Long Chen is. Your lying only makes it worse. Bring him away for a detailed interrogation. But you don't need to worry. We won't wrongly treat a good person. However, he also won't let off a bad person. You'd best cooperate shouted a life star expert. It seemed he was the leader in charge of overseeing this region. Do you see? This is all just a play. Long Chen won't be so stupid as to actually come out after having done such a thing. He's definitely in hiding. Their goal in doing this isn't to capture Long Chen, but to simply target some people with decent wealth but not much of a background. If this fellow's lucky, he'll only lose all of his money. But if he's unlucky, he'll lose his life, said that person indifferently. It seemed he was used to seeing such a sight. So that's what it was. Now Long Chen understood that this was truly a way to rake in money. Without saying anything else, Long Chen tossed this person a bottle. Inside were three ninth-tier pills, causing that person to repeatedly thank him. The information he had provided had been very useful. At the very least, Long Chen now knew how dangerous his current situation was. After taking this gift, that person ran to the back of the line, afraid of being implicated by Long Chen. Long Chen advanced with the line. He quickly reached the end where a soul transformation expert reached out to touch his face to see if he had changed his appearance. Pow. Long Chen slapped that person across the face. Fuck your mother. Do you think you can touch my face? Chapter 1476 Trial of Friendship Translator Born to be Long Chen slap sent the soul transformation expert about to touch his face flying. He spun through the air, his bloody teeth flying. Everyone jumped in fright. The people in the line all retreated, afraid of being drawn in. Brat, you're asking for it. Long Chen's unexpected attack enraged the experts carrying out the investigation. One of the Life Star experts immediately stepped forward, slamming a palm towards him. The terrifying pressure of a Life Star expert crashed down. This pressure made it difficult for soul transformation experts to breathe, while others were unable to move, their faces pale as paper. But shockingly, his wrist was suddenly caught. Long Chen had ignored the Life Star Expert's pressure to capture his hand. The Life Star Expert was shocked. He felt like his hand was caught in an iron pincer. He felt great pain. But when he tried to pull back, he found himself unable to move. Crack. Long Chen kicked the Life Star Expert in the armpit as he pulled on his hand. 
forcibly tearing off his arm. Ah, the Life Star expert only had time for a short cry at having his arm torn off when Long Chen's hand caught his throat. He was pale with terror and unable to speak. He didn't even dare to move. From Long Chen's hand, he sensed a mountain toppling energy. It was extremely condensed, and if it was released, he would be blown to bits. Perhaps others couldn't sense it, but the Life Star expert could sense that his life and death would be decided by a single whim from Long Chen. First comes the left hand, pow. After the left hand's done, then comes the right, pow. Long Chen slapped the Life Star expert twice in the face. His head swelled, but instead of growing smarter, he felt like stars were spinning around his head. He was already completely stunned, and he was powerless to escape even when Long Chen switched hands. Seeing this sight, all the people lined up were dumbfounded. Bastard, who do you think you are? Release him. At this time, another Life Star expert roared and unleashed his aura. A violet gold broadsword pointed at Long Chen, and powerful runes circulated around it. It was an ancestral item. This Life Star expert was the leader of this group. There were only two Life Star experts for the corrupt investigation here. He hadn't expected this youngster to immediately subdue his companion. Long Chen suddenly tossed out the dizzy Life Star expert in his hands. He coldly said, Don't point your stick at me. Otherwise, you won't have a life anymore. Long Chen's actions only made this Life Star expert even more stunned. Originally he had thought that Long Chen wouldn't release him easily, but he simply let him go like this. It was like he didn't even care about him. As for the Life Star expert whose head was swelled up and now looked like a pig's he finally regained his wits and roared. Who are you? Long Chen sneered and took out a golden tablet. He tossed it to him. The Life Star expert caught it, but his hand shook and almost broke just from catching it. Long Chen had tossed it casually so he had also casually received it. But this resulted in Long Chen's power shocking him. The tablet was heavy, but when he saw the image and the words carved into it, his expression completely changed. The flame divine Pa shut up. Since you know it, don't you think you should hand it back to me? Shouted Long Chen, interrupting him. The Life Star expert's expression changed several times. In the end, he handed the tablet back to Long Chen. After taking it, Long Chen hung it on his waist and coldly said, We've received orders to come here to hunt down Long Chen. The real experts have already been mobilized and created an inescapable net. You people should reserve yourself. Don't make things hard on us. After all, now that we're participating, I don't want to see anything that could damage our image. Otherwise, HMPH, you'll receive the strictest punishment. Understood. Understood. Please do as you wish. The other Life Star expert hastily apologized, gesturing for Long Chen to continue onwards. Long Chen nodded and left. The others all stared at his back, all shocked. Just who was this person? Brother Zhao, who was that? Asked the Life Star expert who had been beaten badly. He's a golden plate warrior from the Flame Divine Palace. You, you really were unlucky. We can't provoke Pill Valley. The other Life Star expert helplessly sighed. Pill Valley actually mobilized the Golden Warriors of the Flame Divine Palace? Isn't it said that the Golden Warriors are all on the level of rank 9 Celestials? That's why you had no ability to resist. Your defeat is simply natural. So don't worry about it. He thought that the reason the beaten Life Star Expert had been captured by Long Chen so easily was because of the suppression of Heavenly Dao pressure. But in reality, the beaten Life Star Expert hadn't felt any such thing. In his state of confusion, he didn't even remember sensing any heavenly Tao energy. All he remembered was that this person had been absolutely terrifying and capable of taking his little life at a whim. Isn't Pill Valley supporting us? Why would they send out their golden warriors who knows? We're unlucky to run into him. Whatever. We'll just have to reserve ourselves. There's only half a day until we hand over our duties. Yesterday, the kill insect got so many fat sheep but we only got a few thin sheep before encountering this person. How unlucky. But, we had to pull in so many favors to get our authority today. The pig-headed life star expert was a bit unwilling to do this. Most likely, those favors included large bribes. They still hadn't made back that initial investment. There's no way around it. 
Who would have thought that the Pill Valley that initially only verbally supported us would send out their golden warriors? This means Pill Valley is very likely trying to use this opportunity to kill Long Chen and shake the martial heaven continent with a show of their power. After all, it was because of Long Chen that Pill Valley was disgraced, and then that Long San caused complete chaos within Pill Valley. It should be about time for them to show the continent that they're not weaklings. We'll just have to count ourselves unlucky. If Pill Valley's mobilizing their power, they'll definitely take the main stage. Little people like us will have to endure the other life star expert side again. Ordering his subordinates to continue investigating, he made special attention to tell them not to touch the fat sheep. Long Chen passed through the checkpoint forcibly with the golden tablet, but he didn't feel the slightest joy. This golden tablet was something from Pill Valley's Heaven Dragon Flame region. It had come from the dead Kodajiang. Back then, Long Chen had thought it was some kind of treasure, and so he had taken it while running from the Aldevil monster. But in the end, it had just been a status tablet, and so he had randomly tossed it into the primal chaos space without thinking about it. He didn't even know what the Golden Warriors were. All he knew was that this matter had Pill Valley's shadow behind him. And so this was a test. And this test showed Pill Valley had truly participated in it. In other words, Pill Valley had already recovered from the blow that Master Long San had given them. Did that mean the Radical Faction had recovered from the verge of death? But that didn't seem too lightly. The Radical Faction had lost all its power. It should be next to impossible for them to regain power. He couldn't figure it out. This was one point that he was uneasy about. Just how deeply was Pill Valley involved in this? If they were just participating in name, if they were only saying that he was a devil without actually doing anything, then it would be fine. But suppose that Pill Valley wanted to pull one over the ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance by killing him before they could? This would show off their power for everyone and protect their status as the overlord of the continent. When he had first heard that Pill Valley was involved, he hadn't thought too much about it, but after seeing this golden tablet intimidate those people, he looked at things at a deeper level, and saw a bigger problem. Pill Valley had always been the overlord of this world. They definitely wouldn't allow anyone else to stand above them. In fact, they wouldn't allow someone else to stand on the same level as them. But now Long Chen's matter had shaken the eastern Xuan region. If Pill Valley didn't take a leading position in this manner, it would make their prestige fall. So whether they were being active or passive, they would have to show up sooner or later. And once they did, they would definitely be coming in the most domineering and tyrannical manner possible. Fine. I admit I didn't think this through thoroughly before. HMPH. This is quite a bit of pressure. Long Chen took a deep breath. Now he had done it. The ancient races. The corrupt path. The ancient family alliance. The martial heaven alliance. Pill Valley, they were all targeting him with their full power. Surrounded by enemies? Interesting. Whoever wants to go against me can come. Time to see if the Huaian sect wants to join them or join me. Long Chen calmed himself down. Since he was surrounded by enemies already, there was no need to think that much about it. Just thinking about it wasn't going to get him out of this. It would just rattle his heart. It was still the same thing. In front of absolute power. All schemes were useless. This was the case right now. There was no way his intelligence could get him out of this. He could only put his life on the line. But before doing that, he wanted to know who was his enemy and who was his friend to prepare himself. Hello. May I ask who? Long Chen entered the largest auction house belonging to the Huaian sect in the eastern Xuan city. As soon as he entered, a pretty attendant came to greet him. Tell Zheng Wenlong that an old friend from the Eastern Wasteland urgently wishes to see him. Long Chen put emphasis on urgently. Long Chen was brought to a private room. Inside it, he simply sat with his eyes closed, not moving. It was like he was meditating. In another place in the building, Zheng Wenlong was looking at a wall, his eyes unfocused. Behind him was the attendant who Long Chen had given his message to. Do I see him? Do I not? Zheng Wenlong clenched his fists, caught in a struggle. Chapter 1477 The Business Dao Translator Born to be Zheng Wenlong stared at the wall silently. He was at a huge turning point in his life. 
What he decided would determine his future. Have him wait a bit. I will quickly go to see him, said Zheng Wenlong finally, seeming to have made his determination. Yes, the attendant left. Zheng Wenlong slowly stood until he was right in front of the wall. He pressed down on a protrusion on the wall. The wall slowly opened, revealing a large room. This room had a circular curtain of light constantly revolving. Zheng Wenlong walked up in front of the curtain of light. He stood there for a long moment before finally reaching out into it. Fluctuations came from the light, and a figure appeared. Zheng Wenlong respectfully knelt on the ground. Disciple Zheng Wenlong greets sect master. The figure inside the curtain was an elder sitting cross-legged. He had white hair but a rosy face like a baby. He slowly opened his eyes. His eyes looked old and a bit turbid. However, they were extremely peaceful, as if he wasn't the master of a sect, but a kind elder. This seemingly ordinary elder was the Huaian sect's master, one of the top figures of the continent, someone on the same level as Pill Valley's master. He was the Huaian sect's master, Hua Mingxiang. However, this incredibly powerful figure looked like an ordinary elder and even seemed very friendly. Child, have you run into some kind of difficulty? Hua Mingxiang looked at Zheng Wenlong through the curtain of light encouragingly. I'm sorry, sect master. I wish to leave the Huaian sect. Zheng Wenlong knelt on the ground, his head to the ground, not daring to look at Hua Mingxiang. Oh, why? Hua Mingxiang's voice was still calm. I have a friend in trouble. I need to help him, but I don't want to implicate the sect or its millions and millions of members. Since ancient times, it has always been difficult to choose between loyalty and righteousness. I also have difficulty choosing, but with Long Chen in imminent danger. I have to act regardless. So I hope that you can accept my feelings toward the Huaian sect if there is another life. I will definitely become a disciple of the Huaian sect again and repay your favor. Toward the end, Zheng Wenlong's voice was choked with emotion. The Huaian sect was his home, and it was also his faith. He truly didn't want to leave. Deserting the loyal was disloyal, but ignoring a friend in trouble was unjust. Anyone would have difficulty choosing. The current Zheng Wenlong was not the Zheng Wenlong who Long Chen had met back at the beginning. He was now a large figure with a powerful status. He knew many things that he hadn't known before, and so he knew just how dangerous Long Chen's current predicament was. It was because he knew it that he didn't want to draw the Huaian sect into it. He was prepared to help Long Chen on his own. That way, his actions would be unrelated to the Huaian sect and he wouldn't need to worry about implicating the Huaian sect. Child, first of all, you should get up. Hua Mingxiang smiled faintly. Disciple does not have the face to raise his head. Zheng Wenlong still kept his head to the ground. Foolish child, you are a devout follower of the wealth god, but you still don't comprehend the true essence of the Huaian sect. Let me ask you, what is every disciple of the Huaian sect? A businessman and what do businessmen exist for? For profit. Then tell me, has your collaboration with Long Chen been profitable? It has. And if you continue your collaboration with Long Chen, will you obtain even more profit? If he lives, the profit will naturally be limitless then isn't that all? Businessmen pursue profit. Helping Long Chen is getting more profit. Why would you need to leave the Huaian sect for this? Your actions have not infringed on the Huaian sect's rules, nor have they gone against our faith. Why would you need to do this? Asked Hua Mingxiang. But this time, there's Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance. Forget about them for now. What you need to remember is that you are a businessman, and you must operate your business in good faith. As long as your clients do not break off the collaboration, then as long as there is still profit to be made, you cannot break it off yourself for selfish reasons. That would be a breach of contract and a violation of the doctrines of the wealth god, said Hua Mingxiang. But, Zheng Wenlong finally raised his head to look at him. Hua Mingxiang smiled. Child, there are no bots. The business Tao is also one of the heavenly deos. We steadily advance by following the wealth god's directions and conducting our business honestly. All your misjivings are simply the thoughts of a child. No matter how high your intelligence is, can it surpass a god's? Disciple wouldn't dare to compare himself to the wealth god, said Zheng Wenlong hastily. 
Then why are you questioning the wealth god's intelligence? I wasn't. I understand. I know where I was wrong. Jung Wenlong was about to quibble when he suddenly came to a realization and became delighted. Not bad. Your comprehension is truly good. Remember, no matter what you do, as long as you act within the restrictions of what the wealth god has commanded, you are following the wealth god's directions. If you feel doubt, fear, or misjivings, it's simply because you lack faith in the wealth god. We are humans, not gods. And a god's intelligence isn't something we can reach. In fact, how do you know that Long Chen's arrival here isn't thanks to the wealth god's guidance? Said Hua Mingxiang with a thought-provoking light in his eyes. I understand. Many thanks for your guidance. Zhang Wenlong was extremely grateful for this. All right, you can go. As long as you act in accordance with the wealth god's directions, you are in the right. No matter what happens as a result, I will be there to support you, said Hua Mingxiang. Yes, Long Chen sat cross-legged. Eventually, he opened his eyes and stood. It's been an incense stick's worth of time. Since Jung Wenlong has no time, I'll take my leave. Ah, the attendant standing beside him became awkward, not knowing what to say. It's not that I have no time. It's just that I almost made a grave error during this time. At this moment, Jung Wenlong walked in. You can go. I will talk to him alone. He sent away the attendant. Long Chen sat back down, looking at Jung Wenlong. He said, to tell you the truth, I'm very happy that you came. Of course, I came. It was just a matter of how quickly I could get here. Jung Wenlong's old confident smile had returned Novaloon.com CM thank you. Long Chen finally smiled. Jung Wenlong's arrival meant that Long Chen hadn't misjudged him. Although he was a businessman, he was a hot-blooded man inside as well. No, you shouldn't act so courteous with me. It would make us seem like strangers. The regular saying is that talking about money will hurt friendship. But to the Huaian sect's disciples, talking about friendship is what will hurt money. It seems I was right to come here. You are prepared to stand together with me. No, I'm not standing with you. But on the side of money, you are my precious client, and I need to protect you. That's the way to get the most profit, said Zheng Wenlong solemnly. Long Chen nodded. Although Zheng Wenlong was acting as a businessman, Long Chen could see his sincere emotions. He was glad he had such a friend. Jung Wenlong had never disappointed him. Not in the past. And not now. I want to know everything that happened in the Eastern Xuan region while I was gone. Of course. The most important thing is the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Does it still exist? And who participated? Long Chen went straight to the point. Here. I've already prepared the information for you. Jung Wenlong handed Long Chen a stack of papers with various things recorded on it. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction came too suddenly. The corrupt path announced that it was done by them. But it's not so simple as that. You can look through this. This is everything that was gathered by our intelligence network. Long Chen flipped through the pages one by one. His expression gradually darkened. Zheng Wenlong explained. The corrupt path constituted the main force. But there were several accomplices. The heaven-suppressing magic sect was only one of them. According to the traces left behind on the battlefield, there were at least five divine items that went against the Zhuanshan Dao sect's divine items. Amongst them was the corrupt path's corrupt god skull, the heaven-suppressing magic sect's violet gold soul-devouring staff, and the ancient race's heaven-reaching divine drum. As for the other two divine items, because the spatial fluctuations were too intense and their auras were somewhat similar to the Zhuanshan Tower and the Reincarnation Mirror's auras, it's temporarily impossible to determine which divine items they are. A battle involving seven divine items is rare, even on the entire continent. At the very least, such a large-scale battle hasn't occurred since the last dark era Long Chen nodded. He went through all the information listed. This information was based on an analysis of the battlefield where the Zhuanshan Dao sect had once been. It also had the information about various sects and what they had been doing around the time that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been destroyed. The majority of sects had acted completely normal. But after the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been destroyed, the Vice Alliance Master of the Eastern Branch of the Martial Heaven Alliance went to the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect. And Pill Valley also became lively during this. 
with quite a few powers sending experts to communicate with them. Although these things didn't directly prove anything, Long Chen could see a grand scheme. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction was the result of many powers working together. Zheng Wenlong said, This is all I know. Long Chen, now that you are surrounded by enemies, what are you going to do? This much is enough. At the very least, my head is clearer, and I know a few of my enemies now. As for what I'm going to do, I don't know yet. I want to figure out whether or not anyone from the Zhuangshan Dao sect survived first. Based on the evidence, there were too many divine items at that time, and the chances of the Zhuangshan Tower escaping are low. However, there are also no signs that it was destroyed. That is why some experts have deduced that the Zhuangshan Tower might very likely have been forced into the chaotic flow of space. Perhaps it'll never come back again. Chapter 1478 Bad News and Good News Translator Born to be the chaotic flow of space, Long Chen's heart immediately sank. The chaotic flow of space was the space between two worlds, and it was filled with countless spatial blades. Even life star experts would be instantly torn to bits. Even if the Zhuangshan Tower was present to protect them, once they were lost in the chaotic flow, they might never return. This was the worst possibility, but Long Chen had to accept reality. Facing the attacks of five divine items that came out of nowhere, there was little that the Zhuangshan Tower could do. That kind of power could destroy the world. There was no way it could escape, especially considering that this was something their enemies had been plotting for a long time. If the Zhuangshan Tower had really been forced into the chaotic flow of space, then even if it could resist the spatial blades, it would run out of energy eventually. Killing intent raged within Long Chen. No matter how carefully he acted, he had still ended up implicating the Zhuangshan Dao sect in the spirit world. To protect the forest of life, he had become mortal enemies with the ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance. With his opponents having to pull out after a miserable loss, they had decided to destroy his home. Without the Zhuangshan Dao sect, he was alone facing a world full of enemies. Like this, they could find a million excuses to kill him. No one would speak up for him. Long Chen felt himself to be a star of disaster. Wherever he went, disaster would follow. Thinking of Li Xiangxuan, Wild, and the others lost in the chaotic flow of space, his killing intent raged. Brother Wenlong, is there any way to find them? I don't mind paying the price, asked Long Chen. Zheng Wenlong shook his head. Sighing, this isn't something you even needed to ask. You already know the answer. The chaotic flow of space was too powerful. Anything that was lost in there would have difficulty ever getting out. Sometimes, you might even accidentally enter a foreign world, never to return. If the Zhuangshan Tower had entered on its own, then perhaps there would be some chance of it returning. But at that time, it had been forced in under the sneak attack of five divine items. Even if it was claimed to be number one in defense, it must have been heavily injured by that sneak attack. In that kind of situation, the best it could do was bitterly endure within the chaotic flow of space. It was powerless to break through into the world. So things did not bode well for the Zhuangshan Tower. Long Chen unconsciously clenched his fists so hard that they creaked. He felt powerless. He had no way to find the Zhuangshan Tower, let alone save them. He felt like he was going insane. It was his first time feeling like brains were absolutely useless. Brains. Intelligence? They didn't have the slightest use here. Long Chen. Don't worry too much. At the very least, according to what I know, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's heaven and earth divine pool has yet to dry up. That means the Zhuangshan Dao sect still exists. Comforted Zheng Wenlong. How do you know that? Long Chen was surprised. This is actually a very simple law. People have tested it. After condensing a divine pool, when people carve the name of the Zhuangshan Dao sect within it, they will find that it's still possible to carve it down. The name will then slowly fade away, signifying that the Zhuangshan Dao sect still exists. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect was completely dead, it would be impossible to carve the name. The divine pool simply wouldn't be acknowledged by heaven and earth. Many sects have used this method to determine the Zhuangshan Dao sect still exists, said Zheng Wenlong. It still exists? Good. This is the best possible news for me. 
I actually didn't think of such a method. Long Chen instantly relaxed a great deal. It had been a week since the Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction. If the Zhuangshan Tower was still enduring at this time, it meant there was a good chance it could survive until Long Chen could find some way to save them. This was truly just the news he needed to raise his spirits. Brother Long, what are your plans now? If you need any help, just ask. I'm prepared to put a large investment in you, promised Zheng Wenlong solemnly. Ha ha ha. Just the fact that you can see me without worrying about offending all those powers is enough to make me endlessly grateful. I rarely admire anyone, but I admire the way you conduct your business. Hopefully, our business can last a lifetime. Long Chen smiled. He had obtained a pleasant surprise here. He had been right to come. In the eyes of the outside world, businessmen only invest money. But an investment in friendship is actually the most important investment. I've already gotten huge returns from my investment in you, which further proves that such an investment is the greatest. The profits only continue to soar thousands and millions of times. Zheng Wenlong smiled. Zheng Wenlong was truly a generation's marvel. He had the courage to invest in someone like Long Chen. He was even willing to leave the Huaian sect for the investment he had made. That wasn't something just anyone was capable of. However, Zheng Wenlong didn't mention that. This kind of investment didn't require him to emphasize what he had done. That would simply make it appear fake. I'll remember this. I came here mostly for news. And now I've obtained that. If you could help me out to keep track of any movements in the eastern Xuan region, that would be helpful. I can see my goal clearly now. Since they want my life, I won't let them have it so easily. For now, I'll let the ancient races and ancient family alliance act arrogant. The power structure within them is too complicated. They are both large alliances, and I don't know which particular members within them are the ones who targeted the Zhuangshan Dao sect so. I'm going to start with the corrupt path. I'll slowly investigate who directly participated in the attack. And once I'm sure, I'll start my revenge, said Long Chen. The ancient races and the ancient families were both composed of tens of thousands of individual powers. Their internal structure was extremely complicated, and not every power within them was bad. Long Chen wasn't a slaughterer, and he couldn't treat them all as one for his vengeance. Leaving that matter for Zheng Wenlong to determine would be the best. But Long Chen couldn't wait. He was going to use the bloodiest method to shake the eastern Xuan region. Anyone who participated in the attack against the Zhuangshan Dao sect would have to pay the price in blood. While Zheng Wenlong investigated this matter, Long Chen couldn't simply lay there idly. He was preparing to raise his blade toward the corrupt path. He didn't need to have any misjivings even if he destroyed the entire corrupt path. Brother Long, I, Zheng Wenlong hesitated. Long Chen laughed and patted him on the shoulder. I know, I won't make things hard on you. He knew what Zheng Wenlong's issue was. Zheng Wenlong couldn't provide him with confidential information about the powers the Huaian sect conducted business with. Therefore, he couldn't provide Long Chen with confidential information about the corrupt path, as they had business with them. Telling Long Chen such secrets would be against the rules. However, Long Chen didn't need this information from Zheng Wenlong. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had some secret information of their own regarding the corrupt path. At the very least, they knew where some strongholds were located. From the start, Long Chen hadn't expected to force Zheng Wenlong to tell him these things. He understood Zheng Wenlong. Although he cared a great deal about their friendship, he was someone with principles. He followed the wealth god and he couldn't do anything that betrayed his faith. What Long Chen wanted to know wasn't business secrets. Such things couldn't be told to him by Zheng Wenlong, or it would offend many people. Furthermore, this matter also involved Pill Valley, and it might provoke the endless battle between the two of them. Zheng Wenlong didn't want to implicate the entire Huaian sect just for his friendship. If Zheng Wenlong left the Huaian sect before telling Long Chen these secrets, that would be a different story. Even if others learned about it, it would be the conduct of one person, not the Huaian sect. However, after Hua Mingxing's advice, Zheng Wenlong had retained his status as a disciple of the Huaian sect. He helped to answer some of Long Chen's questions and provided some resources for him. But Zheng Wenlong couldn't betray his sect. Do you need any other help? 
asked Zheng Wenlong a bit apologetically. It seemed just information-wise. He wasn't able to help Long Chen that much. For now, I don't need anything. But don't worry, when I do, I won't stand on courtesy. Ah, speaking of which, I have some large business that I wonder if you dare to receive. What business? Just some pills that came from Pill Valley. Well, more accurately, it's the entire private stock of Pill Valley. Do you dare to take this business? Asked Long Chen. You. Damn. So, it was you. Zhang Wenlong stared at Long Chen with shock. He instantly connected him to Long San. Some of these medicinal pills have Pill Valley's marking on them. I trust you have a way to remove them. However, this matter is very big. So I have to ask if you have the courage to swallow this big piece of meat. Zhang Wenlong smiled bitterly. This isn't meat. This is a giant dragon. I need to ask the higher-ups. This. This is too big. This was truly too big. If Pill Valley learned of this matter, they would definitely think that Long San was someone the Huai insect had sent to Pill Valley. Then Pill Valley wouldn't hesitate to launch a decisive war against them. That wasn't something Zheng Wenlong wanted to see. Zheng Wenlong left for a bit before quickly running back in excitedly. I've asked. You can leave the medicinal pills behind, and the Huai insect will help you get rid of them. However, due to the high danger, we will be taking an extra 30% cut of the profits. Is that all right? That was naturally fine. There were many medicinal pills that Long Chen couldn't even use. If he kept them, they would just rot in his hands. For the Huai insect to only take an extra 30% cut made him feel that they truly had a conscience. Long Chen handed Zheng Wenlong all the medicinal pills. Zheng Wenlong offered to show Long Chen the historical sales of these pills to make him understand how much money he might earn. But Long Chen declined. He didn't have the time. Leaving the Huai insect, Long Chen found a concealed place to remove his disguise. With his real appearance, he appeared in the middle of the eastern Xuan city. Aren't you all looking for Long Chen? Well... I've come. Chapter 1479 Disdainfully looking down on others translator. Born to be when Long Chen first walked out of a small alley. No one noticed. But very quickly, startled cries began to ring out. They couldn't quite believe their eyes. But then they confirmed that they weren't just seeing things. The wanted criminal of the entire eastern Xuan region was actually in the eastern Xuan city. Long Chen. He actually appeared. What's he doing? Is he provoking all the powers in the eastern Xuan city? That's way too arrogant, right? Is he trying to defy the heavens? An uproar exploded, spreading throughout the city. And yet, Long Chen ignored it all. He started walking straight down the main central street. This was the most bustling road in the city. It went from one end of the city all the way to the other. And it was where people were the most concentrated. Following Long Chen's arrival, more and more experts flocked over to confirm that the reports were true. When they saw that black-robed man arrogantly walking down the road, they were incomparably shocked. In the entire eastern Xuan region, the most famous person was Long Chen. Even the light of Empyreans was drowned out by him. Seeing him, these experts all felt their hearts pounding with fear. That was because the rumors were that Long Chen had destroyed the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect although no one had witnessed the Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction. Someone had been recording the destruction of the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect, and his divine ring had been visible. Now that he appeared in the eastern Xuan city and they saw he was only at the peak of the Jade Core realm, they didn't know whether or not they could believe that. A Jade Core disciple could destroy two grand sects? Whoever had come up with that was trying to test the limits of humans' imagination. The huge road was packed with experts. But wherever Long Chen went, they parted like he was a demon. Long Chen, you traitor. Do you still have the face to come out after destroying your sect and killing your masters? If you have the slightest conscience, you'd kill yourself right here to wipe away your sins. Shouted a soul transformation expert from the crowd. Seeing that this wanted criminal was only at the Jade Core realm, several people began to add in their insults. This was only encouraged when Long Chen acted like he didn't even hear that person. He simply continued to walk forward. This person is the devil of the Eastern Xuan region. He's wanted by everyone. Don't be afraid. If you kill him, all the various large powers will reward you with an ancestral item. 
Attack together. A soul transformation expert suddenly raised his saber and left the crowd to attack. He was a rogue cultivator with decent power, but his head wasn't very good. He thought that a single shout would make the crowd follow his lead. He hadn't expected that not a single person would respond to him. Instead, everyone else retreated. He quickly reached Long Chen before putting on his emergency brakes. Only now did he realize he was alone with Long Chen. His soul almost fled out of terror. He was right in front of Long Chen. In that instant, he felt like he was facing a merciless devil, and he was struck dumb. His saber was simply raised in the air, but he didn't dare to slash it down. Only once he approached Long Chen did he realize that this seemingly ordinary youth was giving off an extremely strong air of death. It was like Long Chen wouldn't even need to move to kill him, like a single thought could end his life. He had never encountered such a terrifying person. He stood there in terror, paralyzed with fear. He quivered, wanting to leave but also not daring to move. And Long Chen walked past him just like that. His saber was just a few inches from Long Chen's face. But Long Chen didn't even seem to see it. He continued walking forward just like he had been the whole time. What a coward. Mocking voices could be heard from amongst the crowd. Now facing Long Chen's back. This person was provoked by their insults, and his saber suddenly stabbed toward Long Chen's back. Just as his saber was about to pierce Long Chen's back, a hand caught the tip. Long Chen pushed back ever so slightly. That soul transformation expert instantly blew to bits. As for his saber, it transformed into countless metal fragments that spun through the air. A soul transformation expert was killed without Long Chen turning around. Not even the rhythm of his steps had changed. He looked like he had just swatted a fly. How vicious. Long Chen, aren't you worried about your retribution for such viciousness? Shouted a distant someone in the crowd. Not only was this person hiding in the crowd, but he also made sure to stay a great distance away, so no one could tell who was shouting. Exactly. Long Chen, you're no longer a disciple of the righteous path. You are purely a fiend who slaughtered your own sect. We will kill you, everyone. Attack together. Stop this fiend. The news that Long Chen is here will quickly spread, and powerful experts will be coming to put him in his place. Another person wanted to make everyone else attack, but this person hid in the dark without daring to move. Unlike the first person, Long Chen's lips curled into a cold smile. These people were nothing more than a mob. They only knew how to shout obscenities and put on false bravado. Long Chen. You really are brazen to act like this in the Eastern Xuan city. Do you think there's no one in the Eastern Xuan region who can handle you? Just at this moment, a life star expert appeared. He was tall, with an even taller spear in his hand and a manifestation circulating behind him. He was a rank 7 celestial. Senior, quickly kill Long Chen to clean up the righteous path. Don't kill him. Capture him alive. Then make sure to make him feel the pain of all his victims pull out his soul and burn it for a thousand years. Someone who would destroy their own sect should never be allowed to enter the cycle of reincarnation again. This rank 7 celestial was giving off great pressure. As for the spear in his hand, it emanated the powerful aura of an ancestral item. Ancestral items could only unleash their full power in the hands of life star experts. His arrival caused the crowd to start screaming for Long Chen's death. Their righteous indignation was like Long Chen had destroyed their sects too. In truth, they had no enmity with Long Chen, but they were jealous of him, and so they resented him. None of them was a world-shaking genius like he was. They were simply ordinary, unable to become a world-shaking genius, unable to become the brightest star in the sky. They decided that being able to get another genius killed through their righteous indignation was also quite good. Personally witnessing a genius be killed gave them a sense of accomplishment. In the secular world, that was called hating the rich. Whenever such people saw someone else with more money or living better off than them, they would cry out injustice and be filled with envy and resentment. They didn't know and didn't care about how some of these rich people had been poor people who had worked for their money. They didn't care about how much pain and suffering these people had gone through. All they saw was their wealth. Instead of working to change their own lives, they just felt meaningless hatred and envy for those stronger than them. The secular world had such people, and the cultivation world had them as well. The higher your position, 
the more people that would be jealous of you, you would end up with personal enemies everywhere. Just because you stood in a slightly higher position, they were irritated and wanted to tear you down. This world was full of garbage people who never thought about working hard to increase their own height. Instead, they always felt that anyone who was in front of them should die. They never thought about how even if there was no one in front of them, if they didn't work hard, they would still be stuck standing in their original location. However, rather than advancing, they preferred that others couldn't advance. They didn't work hard, and they also didn't like seeing other people working hard. Even worse would be seeing other people reap the rewards of their hard work. These people shouting crazily had no enmity with Long Chen, but they were acting like he had personally killed their parents. Just because Long Chen's position was higher than theirs, just because his light was too dazzling, they were excited to urge on his death. People with shadowed hearts always hide in the dark. In the darkness, they curse the world for not giving them what they want, as if the world owed them anything. It's not that the sunlight doesn't shine on them, but that they ignore the sunshine so that their hearts are preoccupied with darkness. Perhaps for them, hurting others is the only way for them to feel a sense of meaning in their lives. Long Chen's lips curled as he looked at the experts crazily shouting. His expression was one of apathy and disdain. Long Chen, if you have any conscience at all, you'll immediately kneel and let yourself be captured. Don't force me to kill you said the life star expert. His spear was raised in the air, and a huge spear image had appeared in the sky. A terrifying aura had locked onto Long Chen. This life star expert was very powerful and was on the level of a sect master. Furthermore, he was using a terrifying ancestral item. With his full aura released, the crowd hastily fled further away. They all hid behind buildings that were protected by powerful formations. Furthermore, these formations were all linked together into a grand formation that covered the entire eastern Xuan city. Even an ancestral item's attack could be blocked by the grand formation. There is yet to be someone qualified to make me lower my head. Not even the heavens. As for you, who do you think you are? Long Chen sneered and continued walking forward. He had no intention of stopping. The reason he had revealed his true appearance was to announce his declaration of war to the eastern Xuan region. If anyone wanted to kill him, they could come. Bastard, since you want to act so arrogant, you can just die. The life star expert shouted, and his spear smashed down. Chapter 1481 Man, a lone translator, born to be the terrifying spear crashed down, and countless experts peeked over their cover in order to personally witness Long Chen be killed. Boom, a huge pot appeared in front of Long Chen. The spear image crumbled into broken runes and berserk chi waves surged out. The ground trembled intensely, and barriers appeared around the buildings. The barriers rippled as they were struck by the chi waves. However, this attack was too terrifying. The few buildings closest to the epicenter had their barriers broken, and the buildings were blown away. The experts hiding behind them were also sent flying, coughing up blood. The weaker ones were simply killed. Long Chen, how dare you kill the innocent? Don't blame me for being vicious to remove a scourge from the continent. The spear wielding life star expert was shocked that Long Chen could block his attack. He immediately followed up with another. His goal was to crush Long Chen before he could run. That was because no one believed that Long Chen could have destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect with his power. He had to have used some kind of external power. In other words, he had to have some shocking treasure. Once he was killed, that treasure would have a new master. Although Long Chen was terrifying, they knew he was just a Jade Core disciple. A treasure capable of destroying the heaven suppressing magic sect was definitely a one time use treasure. There were stories of peerless treasures that could unleash apocalyptic power regardless of the user's cultivation base. However, all those treasures required a long time to charge their energy after use. Due to Long Chen's weak cultivation base, there was no way he was qualified to use a divine item. So the chances of this hypothesis being correct were very high. So even though Long Chen had destroyed the heaven suppressing magic sect, the true experts didn't feel much fear of him. Well, most importantly, opportunity lay in danger. Whoever could kill Long Chen would be able to take his treasures. So this powerful life star expert had come out first. He was now an experiment for other experts watching. 
After one shocking attack, another even more powerful attack came. He pushed his ancestral item to its full power. I look down on garbage like you the most. Even if you want to push it, those people who were killed died to both our attacks. The blame is equally split. But you want to push all the blame onto me? It's annoying that you still need to make up a pompous excuse when you want to kill me for my treasures. Sneered Long Chen, once more smashing his pot. HMPH. Quiddling is meaningless. You despicable fiend. If you had simply allowed yourself to be captured, how could those people have died? Just face your death, shouted the Life Star expert, a whistling sound ringing out as his spear reached Long Chen. If garbage like you is still alive in this world, then why would I die? You can die in my place. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared. Five colors filled the sky, blowing away the clouds. Boom. A heaven-shaking explosion was unleashed as Long Chen's pot met the Life Star Expert's spear. The Life Star Expert was smashed away. As for his ancestral item, it actually shattered. Half the Life Star Expert's body was also gone with it, including the hand that had held the spear. An undefeatable will appeared, one that could even suppress the will of the Heavenly Deos. This, is this real? The experts hiding in the distance were all shocked. That was an ancestral item but it had been destroyed by this seemingly ordinary pot? The Life Star expert's expression completely changed. His arrogant appearance vanished, and he turned to flee. Don't be in such a rush. I'll send you off. The Life Star expert had just turned when a lightning arrow pierced through his broken body. He died, with even his Yuan spirit exterminated. I, Long Chen, am right here. If anyone wants to kill me, then come. But remember... My temper's not very good. Anyone who attacks should be prepared to be killed. Long Chen put away his pot and continued walking along the path. In truth, Long Chen had long since noticed several extremely powerful auras amongst the crowd. They were life star experts. However, they were comparatively smarter and not in a big rush like the spear-wielding life star expert who had just died. Because of the disturbance caused by this battle. All of the eastern Xuan city was thrown into chaos. Countless experts rushed over, but they didn't dare to get too close to Long Chen. They maintained a distance that could allow them to run at any time and not be affected by any shockwaves from a battle. Long Chen, you traitorous demon. So what if you're powerful? Do you think you can fight the entire righteous path on your own? Shouted someone from the crowd provokingly, but he refused to show himself. I never take the initiative to be enemies with others. It's always others who want to be enemies with me. As for your suspicions of my capabilities, you can absolutely come over and test it instead of shouting like a wild shrew in the crowd, sneered Long Chen. That person's dislikable voice continued. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. A traitor like you actually has the face to live in this world? Your face must be incredibly thick. Your father and mother as he spoke. His voice floated out strangely from different locations. Die. When he mentioned Long Chen's parents, Long Chen roared furiously. It was like the roar of a god shaking the land. Following his roar, over a hundred miles away, behind a certain building, a thin and monkey-like man's head exploded. His corpse fell from the sky. He was the one shouting just now. He hadn't expected that Long Chen's spiritual strength was boundless like an ocean. By the second time he had opened his mouth, Long Chen had pinpointed his location and directly killed him with spiritual strength transmitted through his voice. The monkey-like man was a soul transformation expert and wasn't particularly powerful. But for Long Chen to have killed him while he was concealing himself so well, everyone else's expressions changed. All the people wildly shouting from the crowd turned pale and shut their mouths. After doing evil things, you don't even permit others to criticize you? Long Chen, you're clearly just feeling guilty. Everyone was shocked that someone would still speak, and they hastily looked for the source of the voice, only to see a middle-aged man with a large gourd on his back. He had a long beard and looked to possess some immortal air. It's the master of Gourd Island. He actually came here. This person was the master of his own power which was equal to a sect. He was a life star expert with great fame. The violet gold gourd on his back was his power's core ancestral item, and it was extremely powerful. His arrival caused an uproar. I never care if others want to falsely accuse me of things. 
Your insults are nothing more than the farts of dogs. I can't be bothered to care. But if someone insults my family, then they shouldn't blame me for being vicious. As for whether or not I have a guilty heart, it's not your concern. You want to kill me for my treasures? Then come. You want to uphold justice? Then come. You want to raise your fame? Then come. Today, I'm walking to the end of this 10,000 mile road. I want to see if there's anyone capable of blocking my path, said Long Chen indifferently. As he spoke, Long Chen continued walking. The people in front of him all retreated, not daring to block him. You're too arrogant. No wonder you'd destroy your own sect without giving an explanation to anyone, shouted the middle-aged man. First, my arrogance is well known by the entire Eastern Xuan region. Second, why would I give any of you an explanation? You're already sure I destroyed my own sect. So what's the point of explaining? Rather than playing such senseless games, let's talk openly. What happened to my Zhuanshan Dao sect is beyond your understanding. Whether you're greedy for my treasures or simply want to uphold justice, I don't care. But I'll just say this. I happen to have a belly full of anger right now with nowhere to release it. If anyone attacks me, they'd better be prepared to be killed, said Long Chen coldly. Long Chen had already walked several miles by now. The experts were parting around him wherever he went. Long Chen, tell me, did you destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Are those rumors real or false? Suddenly, a woman's cry rang out above the crowd. Idiot. How could he admit to such a thing? He'll definitely say that he didn't. Who would believe him? Before Long Chen could even reply, a man from the crowd sneered. Long Chen smiled. You're right. Since you know their rumors, you have the authority over whether you believe it or not. As for when you can't tell if a rumor is true or false, you should use your brain to think about it. What you hear is not necessarily true and what you see isn't necessarily true either. So at that time, it will become apparent just how good a brain is to have. Unfortunately, many people don't have such a thing. The woman was startled. Long Chen hadn't directly answered her question, but the mocking in his eyes expressed everything. I believe you wouldn't do something like that. Those rumors are definitely false. She shouted suddenly. What nonsense. This woman's definitely Long Chen's companion she was bought by Long Chen. Immediately, countless experts turned toward her furiously, cursing her. But her expression was still firm. Long Chen was also startled, and he halted. Oh, how are you so sure? Because you are Long Chen, the top genius of our generation. I believe you were wrongly accused, she said confidently. Long Chen, I support you. You definitely wouldn't do such a thing. Just at this time, another person shouted from a distance. Following that, quite a few people shouted along, agreeing with them. There were actually quite a few people supporting Long Chen, completely startling him. 